I be, can I be heard? <laughs> Am I, does this, does this work? <laughs> I ask because I'm using a whole new computer to stream this because this game is, is spoopy. This game is tough. <laughs> but hello, hey, Sato. Hello, Shepard. Hello, out of the box. Hello, Breeze. Yeah, I'm using, I don't have my old overlay because I'm literally on another computer today, <laughs> actually. <laughs> But hey guys, um, Maddie, hello. We usually, I usually try and start around eight o'clock-ish. Yes, that's usual. How are you today though? And Hopebringer too. Hey Hopebringer, how's it going? Uh, no box today because all of my, so actually most of my stuff, actually do I still, can I show you? Wait a minute, can I, sh do I still have this working? Oh, look at that, well besides, okay, besides the water bottle that is very clearly green. Um, I don't think that, I don't think that actually shows you besides, no, it, that doesn't show you. There's just, it, it's a mess. <laughs> the only thing I can say is that it's an absolute mess. Um, this game that I'm playing today is so graphically intense that I'm using one computer to play it and the other computer to stream it. And it just so happens that my other computer, my old, old computer that I first started with is what I'm using to run the stream and it has none of the things. Music could be a little bit lower and you a little bit up. Thank you, Breeze. Uh, and because of that, like Breeze has mentioned, um, my volume might be a little bit too low and the other things might be a little bit too high. So thank you, Breeze. Is that a little bit better? You'll also have to tell me once we actually start playing the game because the game is going to be a whole, the game is going to be a whole different beast. And I don't want to blow you guys, I don't want to blow out your eardrums. <laughs> I don't want to give you hearing loss on Thursday. <laughs> Yes. Also, Aoi, I'm here to be lurking. Playing Stardew. Oh, I need to get back into Stardew. That would be so much fun. Also, Aoi, I hope that your hope that your farming time is is a blast. Hope you have a good time. Thank you for lurking. Doo -doo. Is that okay? Uh, Ace Auto, it's been a long time. I am Ace Sugar Lover. Well, welcome, Ace. <laughs> good to have you back. Hmm. I'm sad that it also means I don't have my chat either. Unfortunately, that's the hard part. Um, Gurgit, I'm here, and my knee is screaming. <laughs> is that just from a long day of work, Gurgit? Hope you're doing okay otherwise, though. Uh, also, Biax, hello, too. Thank you for the bongo heart. And Jesse, hi, friends. And Christopher Wren. Hey, Chris. How are you doing today? <gasps> Adirond hand reveal. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait. I think I still have this. Oh, wait. What? What's? What's? Hang on. <laughs> Why is that there? Okay, there we go. Yay. I still have the zoom in, kind of. It sort of, it sort of works. Hard to tell because it's so chill right now. Hey, <laughs> Breeze, that's fair. Uh, we'll actually, I'll swap things out in a second and then we can get an idea of what's going on. Um, also, Shaburb, I got news. I got a burb. You got another bird or just a burb? <laughs> and also, what did you get? Out of curiosity. Hmm. Hey, Thursday nights pre COVID always gave me hearing loss at the parties, so nothing new with the game. <laughs> Maddie, that's fair. <laughs> but fortunately, we're, uh, even if you can't party now, we can still party together, albeit online, yes? I had to switch accounts due to getting a new phone. Oh, Ace, well, that's okay. We know it's you. <laughs> the long, the long, long-lasting Ace, no matter where they might be. Team Rocket Blasting off again! Kadena, we're about to, we're about to do that, for sure. Also, hi, and also, Kadena, thank you for the heads up about the, the weather. I told my parents about it just so that we could be, so that we could be prepared and ready for what's coming. Um, for those of you who don't know, there's like a major, 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 uh, I guess you could call it like a, mm, winter storm? Moving across the Midwest right uh, soon, probably today, Midwest, uh, and then it's going to come across the East Coast, and it's actually going to bend up to the Northeast. So if you're anywhere within the Midwest, uh, East Coast, or mid, uh, Northeast, just uh, just beware. Just be careful. Uh, Gurgit, aside from my right knee being in major pain, work was decent right after, uh, right till like the last few hours. What happened the last few hours? Uh-oh. <laughs> also, CD Bricks. <laughs> Carter. Carter, I need to... Um, I think I've decided that I might not, I don't know. This is this is a hard choice. Um, part of it is just because of like logistics. I don't know, I don't know when I'll be able to do this. But Carter, did I show you the gigantic Lego that I got for, uh, the gigantic Lego I got for Christmas? Hmm. Massive. And I'm not, I'm still deciding. It's gonna depend on some things, whether I'm gonna stream it or whether I might just time-lapse it. I might just time-lapse and, and you guys can see a video of it being put together. Um, the thing is, it's probably gonna take me multiple sessions. It's gonna take me a while, but, uh, I'll decide. You got a Lego? Yeah, dude! <laughs> so, Carter, I don't know if you know this, but I was in, I was in the musical Titanic, um, and I was actually in it twice. So, 
once with uh, once in high school and once now. So, fortunately, Lego delivers, and they just happen to have oh, a uh, a Lego Titanic. So this thing is huge, <laughs> massive. <laughs> so I'm gonna build this uh, hopefully on stream. If not, then if not, then it'll just be a uh, a time lapse. But we'll see. It's it's gonna take a long time, so we'll see. Yeah, it's massive. I don't. I still haven't figured out the weight, but it's nine thousand pieces. It's nine thousand, and it's it's dense, man. Like Lego boxes are usually not that thick, you know. Lego on stream? Yes, I'm gonna try to, Kadina. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. But anyway, that's the goal. The problem is just the problem is finding time, guys. It's a lot of time, so uh, we'll figure out when we can do that. But that's I'm gonna be working on that maybe this weekend. Lego Dad says he's jealous. I know. Well, the problem is, is like, people were scalping them. People were, were taking them and selling them for like double or triple or quadruple their price because they're just so rare. But fortunately, my family and I were able to, we're lucky enough to get one from the Lego store. So we got really, really, really fortunate. Um, you can't find them anymore. Like they're not, they're not, I don't think they're listed on Lego store site and they're not at these, they're not at the actual shops either. So, oh, I'm, I'm very, very glad that we did, but for me, it has a lot of sentimental value because I was in two shows, two musicals of it. So it means a lot to me. It's not just, you know, having the set. Um, but uh, if I get snowed in, oh, that's right. Monday is a holiday. Hmm. Maybe we'll do something on the holiday. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll try and stream that if I can, guys. Um, time permitting. Hmm. Doo -doo. Uh, DC is supposed to get nearly a foot um, Sunday through Monday. North Carolina was about to get a lot of snow. Um, Right now, our our weather predictions just say that Sunday we're supposed to get stuff, but the problem is all like the cold weather that they've been playing too, so we'll see. Um, Ace, I also got COVID, so I've been sleeping and playing Oblivion. <gasps> You've been playing Oblivion? What? I was talking about Skyrim last stream. Ace, I really... Okay, amidst the huge, enormous, enormous amount of games that I, I'm already playing, I really want to go back and I really want to go play Skyrim again. I, I just, I love that game. I spent so many hours playing it and I never got to stream it or make content from it. So I would love to enjoy that journey again with you guys. I, I think it would be so much fun. Ugh. If we get news or if, some, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. But man, I really want to go play Skyrim again. You've inspired me, Ace. Dang it. <laughs> oh, and Maddie, you saw that Lego at the Lego store? It takes a lot of space. It's like five feet long. It will be as long as my, de uh, well, about as long as my desk. It's gonna be huge. So we'll see. That makes the Republic gunship look tiny. <laughs> yeah, we have a Republic gunship and we also have the Star Destroyer at my house. And Lord, this thing is, it's gonna be five feet long, which is just enormous, crazy. Um, I would say start it out on stream, time-lapse the middle and then end on stream. Ooh, Maddie, that's actually really cool. We'll see. Part of this comes from the fact that my family has wanted to help me. Like my parents want to help me build it. And I'm sure that they don't, I, I know that they don't want to be on stream. So it's kind of like, well, how do I, do I just say, no, I got this? Or do I let them, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll work on it. Do -do 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 -do. Kadena, I'm so excited. The last piece of Matt's birthday bundle came in today. It's all tucked in the box, ready to go. Just gotta get to the post office. Well, Kadena, I hope you can do so either before the winter storm or maybe after, but we got time. You got time. There's there's plenty to go. You had at least like a week or two. That's a great set. Yeah, absolutely, Carter. Do half and half. I'll look into it. Maybe I'll start it with them or start it with you guys and then finish it. We'll see. Uh, Gurgit, in the final hours of today's shift, um, got to go to the far end, far ahead of the basic end. Had to do a lot of waiting on work. Oh, okay. So did that make things in the final end? Hmm. So does that mean that does that mean that you had to like wait around for people too, Gurgit? That's not so bad. Matter I should play Ghost of Tsushima. I should take care of my other games, Jesse. <laughs> also, have you finished Joseph Ghost of Tsushima? Now wait a minute, <laughs> Jess. Gosh. Uh, in Shaburb, it's a bunch of snow. Unfortunate that we aren't getting, but I but I have been enjoying the cook weather. Ooh, the cooking weather. Like if it's cold and if it's snowy outside, you just like stay inside and, and cook in a warm kitchen. I mean that sounds fun. I would like that. Uh, Loxley, hi. It says the overall length of the finished Titanic is 53 inches. Yes, it's massive. What is 53 inches? Is that like, is that six? No, I can't do math. Five times 12 is 60. Oh yeah, so like a little under, a little under uh, 
five feet ish four and a four and a little bit four and three quarters nine and three quarters <laughs> yes hmm. you can role play with it in the tub and then and then when it breaks <laughs> cry <laughs> now ace ah good finally you're awake <laughs> gosh role play in a in a in a cart in the middle of winter we can do that it'll be snowing uh, Hopebringer, you're in the boundary zone of the winter storm, so it's not expected to be awful around you, but you're still gonna maybe get some things. Okay, we'll just stay safe out there, Hope. And everybody, too. Uh, Kadina, Kay said that it might be Friday. I know when she'll- I know she'll get it there ASAP. Okay, no problem, Kadina. I'll keep an eye out for it. Also, if you have a tracking number and you know when it comes, just let me know, because the post office has been really- the post office has been really janky lately. They haven't been notifying me when things are coming. Um, Kirkit, yeah, we had to wait on work to be made and sent it and sent up to us. Oh, well, good. So that means that you were at least ahead of things. So you got like a little bit of a, a little bit of a break, Gurgit. Um, also, Gurgit, are you off for Martin Luther King holiday coming up this Monday? Do you at least get a three day weekend? I know that everybody, I, you know, different people in different shifts, it works differently, but just curious. Uh, Jesse, sadly, no, I'm playing Skyward Sword HD and I just completed Horizon Zero Dawn <laughs> again. Because <laughs> why not? That's fine. Totally okay. I respect Horizon as a good story game. Replaying it is totally valid. Um, also, try Stoosh. Hi. Hey, I just want to say I got S plus in Spot Zones. Yo, nice. I'm working on, uh, I don't think, the last time I tried to play Zones, we ended up getting spawn camped a bunch <laughs> when I was playing Ranked. So good on you, good on you, Try, because I I had a rough time last time I played Ranked. Good luck if you're heading up to, uh, if you're trying to get to X rank. I know it's kind of a hard journey. Best of luck. Also, Merge! Hi! Hello, Adron. Yesterday, I was super sick. I plan to get things moving after a day of rest, and my body actually listened to me! There you go! Nice! So you took the day off, got some, got yourself some rest, came back, and you're all good now. Awesome, Merge. I'm glad you're doing better. Um, I think yesterday, um, I think as far as, uh, as far as yesterday, yesterday's stream, we played Monster Hunter, and actually, I, <laughs> Monster Hunter was a lot of fun. Like, I got to play with Finn, Zombies, and Joel, and we had a blast. I'm actually really, I'm really happy to get back into it. Um, the DLC for it is coming out probably later this year, and I will be streaming it because it's like a whole, a whole new game. <laughs> It'll be a whole new game, but that'll be a lot of fun. So we'll keep an eye on that merge. But uh, in the meantime, we're gonna, we're gonna play some Star Citizen today, which is a, uh, for those of you, I'm, I'm chatting with everyone first, and then we'll jump into this in a second. Uh, this is a space simulator. It's, First of all, it's an alpha. It's not actually released yet. So this is kind of like an alpha beta version. Um, I'll explain some of the details about it later. Um, but we're gonna start with like a fresh account at the very beginning and do some of the beginning missions. And you guys will just get a feel for, for what it is and, and how it works and stuff. But I've been I've been following, this, following the development for this game for a really long time. It has been really difficult to stream it because it's an, a very unoptimized, in an un 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 unoptimized alpha state. But now that I've got things working properly and it and the, the game runs decently, we're gonna try this out. We're gonna see how this goes. Um, have I finally have I played Oblivion before, Ace? I played a little bit of Oblivion, mostly Skyrim. Not too much of Oblivion, but I know about it. My favorite part about Oblivion was the fact that the when they when someone talks to you, they get like right up in your face. <laughs> They're like, who goes there? <laughs> and you're like, no, please. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> Oh, and Gurgit, you're off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday this week. Awesome. That sounds fantastic. I hope you can get some rest, Gurgit. Also, it's my ninja. Hello. I don't want to miss Flota's finale, but I have a turnip price of 436. So if you want it, uh, come to Flota's stream in a few minutes and I'll get the code for you. Also, hi. <laughs> Actually, never mind. I don't think Flota's start won't want that. So if, if you want a good turnip price and are on my friends list, just come and get it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Spell Ninja, if you want to send your Dodo code or whatever it might be, um, or if anybody's interested, I can uh, I can let people know in the Discord too, possibly possibly. I'll pass it around. I'll let people know Spell Ninja. But also glad you got a good turnip price. I know how difficult that was when I couldn't get any good prices, <laughs> or when I let the, when the, when I let the turnips rot, unfortunately, because <laughs> that has happened. Um, Monster Hunter Breeze. I don't know if I caught yesterday. If you how much Monster Hunter do you play, and if so, like what are your favorite weapons? I don't know if I caught that yesterday. I might have missed it. Uh, Kadena also, the damage to Kay's car from the wreck is much worse than we thought. Turns out she's got a loose tie rod and over 9k in damage now. Man, at what point is it gonna be... At what point is it gonna be like a total, a total, uh, like, car wreck? Kay is suffering now too, but the wreck caused her some problems with her hip. 
She's gotta, she's gotta go way up north to see a guy who can fix it. Oh my gosh, Kadena. I'm so sorry. But I also hope that that means that she's able to, you know, get the help that she needs, too. Man. Um, Hopebringer, if this is any- Yes! If this is anything like Freelancer, it's gonna be incredible. Oh, Hopebringer, you are- You and I are gonna have a ball, man. You and I are gonna have a ball. This is- This is gonna be cool. Also, yes, the Oblivion NPCs. They get all up in your face, and it was hilarious to me. Although I, I at the certain at a certain point I kind of got tired of it, a little bit intimidated actually. Is this an open world game? Yes, it is. You can do literally anything. You can you can uh, actually the main the main kind of uh, game loops are doing missions, um, trading and like cargo hauling, mining, which is my favorite, uh, bounty hunting. Um, they're going to introduce salvaging next patch, so probably in a couple months. Um, and then there's also uh, you can you can go to jail. <laughs> there's crime. You can be a pirate. Uh, you can you can do all sorts of stuff. It's actually really fun. So we'll see. I'll show you guys how it works. Ba -dum -bum. I don't exactly know how people dis um, Discord will contact me, but I might just keep it on stream. No, no, no that's fine, Spawn Ninja. Um, I'll ask around. Like for example, if anybody right now, if anybody right now is uh, looking to do some Animal Crossing turnips, if they need a good price, Spawn Ninja has some. So please let me know, and we get the code distributed for you guys. Um, if I buy Animal Crossing, I'm gonna have to restart because I forgot to transfer my island with the utility. Oh, and it's stuck on the old one, right? Um, this guy's a really nice friend. Kay's hip was re was displaced when Jellybean was born. He fixed it for her before and did well for a long time. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so good. Somebody that you know about, too. It was a 2019 Corolla. That was a new car! I remember you sending me a picture and being so happy about it. Dang, that is so hard. That's so hard, Kadena. Um, Breeze, yes, I'm 300 hours, 300 plus hours, I'm Hunting Horn main! Yeah, so I was playing Hunting Horn yesterday, yeah. Switch Axe too, but I've been taking up others. Nice. I like, I like Hunting Horn just to be, like, support. Um, I love Switch Axe for the, um, the, the bug wire combo. Um, but I've recently started kind of branching out and trying new things. I really want to start getting better at the bow. I found some really nice combos with it, and I found a bow that I like, so we'll see. I'm gonna start putting some builds together. We might use some. We might use a bow a little bit more. We'll try it out. Um, if you don't know already, I'm looking for Sophie because I know for a fact she'll want the opportunity. Okay, Spawn Ninja. If we see Sophie, I will. Uh, I'll try and find a way to contact you. Get in touch about your turnips. Um, Hopebringer. Uh, honestly, I remember joining the Criminals and Freelancer, but that's because the Corsairs and the Outcasts had such cool ships. Yeah. Oh, and you'll start to see. You'll start to see a lot of similarities and a lot of like, uh, a lot of a lot of references to Freelancer and Wing Commander too. A lot of the, like the, a lot of the ship names, a lot of the things like that are all like old references to that. But we'll, we'll see when we get in there, Hope. Um, uh, Breeze, Rise is not technically my first game, but it's the first one uh, diving in this deep. That's fair. And I feel like there's a lot of things in Rise that I've heard are a lot better compared to some of the older games, especially with Hunting Horns. I heard the Hunting Horns were really just kind of a difficult weapon to use and they were very passive like you just kind of like stand off to the side to not interrupt anybody's combos but now it's a little bit more integrated and you feel more part of the fight which i which i like so rise rise is my very first monster hunter game and it's been great so far i love it um da -da -da. uh kadena they said that her car will look brand new again when they're done but it's dangerous to drive it right now and she has to, and she has to for work because of the broken tie rod right dun, 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 dun. There's no frame damage. They took out a mailbox and flipped over the windshield and did a lot of cosmetic damage. Oh, okay. Besides the tie rod, though, that's the only problem. Gotcha. Uh, Try Solution. When do you think Splatoon 3 will release? Well, I think they're going to announce... They might announce Breath of the Wild 2 stuff, and um, they might also do the Splatoon 3 release day in, like, an E3... Not an E3, uh, just, like, an, uh, a direct announcement. I'm not sure when. I personally am hoping for, like... April or May, like later on in the year. Um, just because I've got a lot of things going on at work and life in general. Um, so I, I have a lot of stuff that I have to do before Splatoon 3, but that's just me personally. However, I also think for people who are in school and stuff, it'll be better for Splatoon 3 to come out closer to the summertime. So then people are actually on break when it comes out so they can actually play it. I feel like if people are in school and the game releases, they'll be like, ah, <laughs> I wanna play this game. <laughs> so I'm hoping for like, you know, early summer. Which is historic. That that's accurate with what they've, how they've released before around May and June in that time. And also, Flutter Stream has started. I will now disappear. 
No one has said anything about wanting, so I'll be going. Bye, Splendinja. Good luck and have fun in, in Flow to Stream. We'll see you soon. Um, Maddie, that's not bad. I was in a crash two weeks ago. Oh my gosh. And my boyfriend's 2010 camera was like totaled. Oh gosh. Right, and then that's at the point where it just becomes broken beyond repair, right? Um, Breeze, I had a whiteboard in front of the TV ready for Rise Hunting Horn, but they streamlined it, so it's so nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, literally like <laughs> having all of the combos and stuff for all of the stuff you had to do. They streamlined it so then you don't have to remember all these like crazy button combos and stuff. Sometimes I feel like that's how you have to play the game, is having a whiteboard with all of your references. This is true. Um, two passengers have broken steel bars in them. Must be replaced. Probably when they hit the fence. I broke off the side mirror too. Oh my gosh. Kadena, I hope you can I hope you can take care of that stuff. Also, Blago! Hi! I'm praying for a summer Splatoon 3 release. I have so many games that I want to play already. I need summer to get through them, plus all of Splatoon 3! <laughs> all of that game itself. Exactly, Blago. That's how I feel about it too. I kinda hope that it's like early summer, but we'll see. And Kami! Hi! I see eyes emoji! <laughs> hello? <laughs> Hi Kami, how's it going? And I'm Morris! Hello, hello! Hi friends, how are you going? Uh, Splendinja, also before I go, I never realized how much I want to play Sucrose until we talked about the Twitch comeback yesterday and how you mained her, or two days ago. <laughs> yes, I actually updated uh, Genshin so that I can claim some of the stuff, but I gotta do that later tonight. But thank you Splendinja, I'll catch you later. How do you keep track of all these conversations and talent? I just... I think it's something that's came after like two or three years of uh, two or three years of streaming now. Merge it, it. That was a thing that concerned me at the very beginning of streaming. Was I? I always thought to myself, I was like, how in the world am I going to keep up with all these conversations? Like, am I going to? Are people going to feel like they're missing out? You know, and it's that that ability to keep up with people, I think, has grown over two and three years of streaming. So fortunately. And I would say that for the future too. Like a lot of people get concerned. They're like, oh, well shoot, what if the channel grows too big? And what if there's too many people in chat? I will always, 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 always <laughs> find a way to like keep up with you guys and, and chat, like even if it means taking breaks or whatever it might be. Um, Cause for me, that's the most important thing about this. It's not just playing a game. I can do that. I can do that in my free time. <laughs> I can play a game anytime I want, but getting to hang with you guys and like making this, making this uh, kind of space is what's important. No, 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 no. <laughs> Splendinja, I did not say Twitch stream. No, no, I said that I downloaded Genshin so I can claim the the wishes and stuff, but I'm not streaming on Twitch tonight. No, <laughs> please do not. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> I'll let you know if it was. I would tell you. You might have heard wrong. I think so, but that's okay. <laughs> if anything happens along that line, I'll be sure to let you know. Um, hello, Aqua. Are we allowed to go into the end on the Minecraft server? I don't see why not. I, I think it's fine. I think Waffle actually sent me a message. Sorry I didn't stay too long, but it was nice seeing you, but I'm gonna go my friend's stream. Okay, no problem, Trice Lush. Thanks for hanging with us for a little bit. And GG's, I'm getting uh, S plus in zones. Um, Aqua, I'm gonna say that, yeah, like you guys probably can. Honestly, I don't mind. Should I reply to Waffle? Is Waffle on here? Hang on, let me reply to Waffle real quick, because he asked me about it. Oops, wrong keyboard. <laughs> I think I have another keyboard now. You guys ready to start this? <laughs> Let's, uh, I'm gonna start transitioning things over, um, as far as sound and whatnot. 
you guys will tell me the volume. First of all, the music of this game really makes it for me in a lot of ways. But, all right. Um, so what we're gonna do, I have a couple of different, um, we're just gonna start off and we'll explore as we go. We'll explore as we go. There are different modules in this game right now. Um, four primary ones. So what I'm what I'm joining right now is the multiplayer um, MMORPG universe uh, called the PU, the Persistent Universe. But they're also working on a single player campaign related to it and 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 encompassed within the universe. But it is its own single player campaign. That's called Squadron Forty Two. There's also a like a flight simulator, like a combat sim where you can practice flying and whatnot, um, arena commander, and then also a first person shooter uh, simulator module as well. So you can like practice gunfights and stuff. That's called Star Marine. So we're entering into the, the persistent universe. That's where most people play right now. Single player campaign isn't available yet. They're trying to release that in the next couple of years. We don't, we don't know when. Um, and the, the two the two flight sims are pretty fun, and they're nice just to get some like quick action if you're interested. But also, is there like a is there a giant is there a giant watermark right here? <laughs> Has that always been there? I might have to move that. <laughs> There's like a giant Adirond watermark. I might have to move that somewhere. I don't I don't know if I can. That's a YouTube thing, so I don't know if I can fix that. But I'll have to wait and see. Haley, hello! Hi friends, I have some good news. I found out today that my niece is having a baby! Yo, that's awesome! Haley, congratulations! To uh, to her and your and their family too. And congrats to you guys too. Um Do you know when the delivery date might be? Or or when? That's exciting. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, also Blocko, I've started using Sucrose in my and in my abyss. Her grouping ability uh, and the viridescent veneer, is that what it is? Something like that. Resistance shred is just too good not to have. That's what I've been saying. I love I love Sucrose, not just from her like animo abilities, but from all of her like crowd control too. It's great. It's not giant on my screen, it's pretty tiny. I think it looks like a patch on my t-shirt sleeve. Okay. I think that might have to do with like the zoom, like the zoom level of, uh, that has to do with like the zoom level of, of YouTube, but. Okay, as long as it's not, like, big and, big and obnoxious. Um, it's in August! Okay, cool. Well, you'll have to wait and see then, I suppose. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to visit her before... Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to visit her before August, or what your family's planning on doing, Haley. But either way, that's great news. And they, I'm assuming they don't know uh, they don't know what it might be yet, guy or girl. But I'm sure that uh, you'll give us an announcement <laughs> at some point. We went to the baby shower, and it's... We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. All right. Ah, yes. Welcome to this. Welcome to this crazy game. Does it? What happens if I do F? Ah. Oh. Okay, we're gonna break the game. Good. <laughs> you started playing Genshin too, Carter. It's a great game. I love Genshin. I've not played it in a long time because it was difficult for me to keep up with, but Genshin's a lot of fun. All right. So, gosh, this. So basically, we're in this. Uh, we're in the Cloud City. Um, this place gets really laggy sometimes, but we're in this gigantic, gigantic space that is, uh, it's like a Star Wars cloud city. It's really cool. Um, you always start out in this kind of, like, apartment, per se. Uh, it's called a hab. And then, here's my person. Um, all of this gear is stuff that I've collected from, like, Christmas events and Halloween events and stuff like that. Um, but that's just gonna stay here in the room. But we are... We have our little space, our space gear, and everything. And everything is like, I, what baffles me, what baffles me about this game is just the incredible level of detail. Like even just walking around this room, I don't think I can interact with these objects yet, but, oh, wait, I can. Gosh, there's so many things. This little cookie jar, I don't, how about this? Oh, that's a little cooler, man. <laughs> but you could, like, the the thing that baffles me is you can zoom in, you can see, like, that's the, that's the detail of the bolt. 
Okay, that's a hex bolt. But, like, it looks 3D. It looks like it's there in space. Like, ugh. The detail of this game is just incredible. Wow. Even, like, these little silly lights... Anyway, getting ourselves outside. Um, go on the patio. Dang. Yeah, it's evening time in the Cloud City. Holy cow. I sound like Jason. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> This, you know, even if there's not a lot of gameplay, like, set up in this, it's it's incredible just to sit here and, and enjoy. This game is an experience. Man. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> so good. This is like the this is like the apartment complex essentially. Imagine a, a apartment complex in 900 years. That's basically what this is. Wow. With the trees and stuff. Dang. That video was so epic. I I had a lot of fun making that. Yeah, so this so these are just NPCs. They aren't actual characters. They aren't actual people. Um, eventually, NPCs will have uh, like daily jobs that they have to do and stuff like that. Right now, people just kind of like walk around. Sometimes the NPCs are a little bit broken. You'll definitely see that at some point. Um, I actually don't. I don't know what Stratus is. I don't know what Stratus is, but. Um, Let's see, that's the trade commission, so that's where I that's where we buy and sell a lot of like trade commodities. And then that is the that's the Orison Hospital. So if we were to respawn, we would probably wake up over there. But we'll see. Alright, let's get ourselves let's get ourselves to a, a spot where we can get our spaceship. Jason talks about constantly. Bob is so jealous. <laughs> oh shoot. So what you're saying is we need to make something for Bob. <laughs> And also, Maddie, updated my resume starting. Shuttle shuttle is approaching the station. Sorry, this is maybe I should turn it down. I don't know. There's a lot of ambient sound in this game. If it's too loud, just let me know. Um, Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Also, no problem, Maddie. That sounds good. Start with the lack of emojis on. Please clear the hatch. Shuttle will be departing. You can sit. Can you sit? I think you can. Hello, seat. There we go. Meep, meep, meep. Yeah, the camera really doesn't like that <laughs> if you try and do third person. Um, so what can we do? That's the question. So... Alright, so what we'll probably start with is one of these, like... These are all the missions that we have that are available. Um, we can do a quick delivery mission. Those are pretty easy to do. Um... We can do a search mission, but those might be a little bit more difficult. Because usually there's some NPCs, like, guarding it. Um, I don't think I can do that. I could try a bounty hunting... I could try a bounty hunting mission. That'd be fine. And then we could do these Cleo ones. These are fun. Although, so... One interesting thing will be... Uh, <laughs> okay, well, this could be, this could be interesting. I think I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be lurking. Out Approaching of next station. No worries, Blocko. If this is your stop, prepare to disembark. Thanks for. Oh shoot, uh, I forgot. I might have broken the game. Uh, oops. Maybe. Uh. 
forgot I can't alt tab in this. Shoot. <laughs> um Yeah, I can't I can't alt tab in this game at all. Alright. Let me uh Okay, give me one second. <laughs> Dang it. Uh said this game is super finicky there we go it is so easily broken lane <laughs> did you guys beat the under dragon <laughs> I gave you guys permission like five minutes ago. Now you've already beaten it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> you guys are too fast. Also, GG's, guys. If that's what you were doing. So one interesting thing, uh, one interesting th that thing that's going on is there's actually a player-driven event happening right now. Um, Hi, welcome to the store. We'll see if we'll see if I can participate in it. Probably not. Um, this thing costs fifteen thousand. Ah, oh, shoot, it's really expensive. All right, we're just gonna use my little we're gonna use my little tiny ship. Sure that this thing actually has weapons on it. <laughs> uh, it looks like it does. Yeah, we do. We have enough weapons. Okay, good. Otherwise, I would have been stuck. So you can you can spawn your ship at these uh, at these ship stations, and everything is physically realized. So there's no there's no like loading screens or anything like that. Like you are you are moving through a physical space that is registered in the game, and you use elevators to like transport in between. So this hangar isn't just like a random loading screen in the game. Like it is a real hangar that exists in a physical space in the game that other players can see. And here's my tiny little ship. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> um, this is one of the, I, I'd say this is one of the beginner ships. Um, do I have another weapons rack on here? No, I don't think so. Maybe I do. I can't remember. Maybe not, I'm not sure. Well, I have enough. Anyway. And all of these ships, oh my gosh. All of these ships are like super, super, super highly detailed. Um, they have, let's see, they have full interiors, they have full, uh, like, interactable bits to them, too. Gosh, these, the amount of work that they put into designing these things is just, is immense. I mean, this is just the beginner ship, but it already is just so well designed. Now, of all the ships, I think this is actually one of the ugliest. <laughs> To be completely honest, this thing is literally like a flying brick. <laughs> You'll, I'll start to show some of the other, uh, some of the other ships that are available, and this is quite literally a floating brick. So I'll show you more, but uh, we're gonna let's try doing some missions and see how that goes. Have you seen Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds? This garage looks exactly like the movie. I have not seen Free Guy, but I know of it. All right, let's do this. All right, we have to fire it up. Welcome to Broad Space Industries. Oh, enjoy the ride. So good. 
All right. Um, now a lot of this, <laughs> a lot of people look at flying and they're like, "Oh my gosh, what are all these? What are all these buttons? What all these things do?" Um, it does take a little bit to get used to like all different like ship movement stuff, but you'll get you'll have time to practice. Now, I need to I need to use the communication device to uh, talk with the people to then get myself out of this hangar. <laughs> you are clear to launch. Oh, that's so cool. The movie was about a video game too. 100% recommend. Watched it three times in the theaters. Whoa, Maddie, really? I'll have to go check it out myself. All right. We're gonna get ourselves lifted off here. Look at that ship. Look at him go. All right. Retract the landing gear. And then on we go. Dang, and so now we're like actually in the Cloud City. And that's like a real hangar for real players and stuff. We started off back there on that old, uh, on that tall tower back there. Use the tram to come back to the hangar. And then now we're making our way off to space. Doo -doo. Oh. I don't like flying in third person. <laughs> All right, let's get ourselves going. And you can kind of see, uh, you see that there's like a planet right there. That planet, like you can, you can go. We can go to that planet, like that's a that's an actual place that we can go to, which I think just, to me, is so cool. All right. Unfortunately, this atmosphere is also incredibly dense. <laughs> this game, this this uh, atmosphere is incredibly dense. So we're gonna put it on cruise control, and uh, just let it fly. Um, I think sometime in the near future we'll use virtual reality to fly real ships in space, mine asteroids, and do maintenance on the satellites. That would actually be really cool, Kadena. That's kind of what this game is uh, supposing, too. And Mads! Hi! I can't stay long because I'm at my birthday dinner. Oh! Well, happy birthday! But if you're still streaming later, I might join back. But if not, hope you have a good stream. Bye, Mads! And happy birthday, man. That's fantastic. Also, Dwayne! Hang on. Is this the game that you said you're talking about for years and you thought it would never come out? Uh, yes. <laughs> the thing is, Dwayne, is that technically it's not out. <laughs> We're just it, the thing that's available right now is an is an alpha game. Um, the game is technically not fully released yet, but you can still play the alpha version. I. It's really complicated. This game was actually announced in 2012. It's been 10 years, 10 years, which is nuts to me. A game, why I don't know. Because they're trying to make it extremely, insanely detailed and all that. Maybe, but. Point of the matter is that uh, point of the matter is that we we have something to play with, um, and there's like you know there's a slow trickle of, of activities and, and things that come into play, um, you know slowly they add new things. When it will actually have a full release, I'm not sure, but yeah, this is the game, Dwayne. This is Star Citizen. Thank you. Alrighty, I must be going again, but hopefully see you later. Bye, Mads. Happy birthday. Da -da. Music makes it feel like a very epic celebration. Alright, we're gonna get ourselves out of here. Yeah, I do not have I do not have great engines on this on this ship. Alright, so let's actually get ourselves a contract. Um Oh, Let's try, uh... Actually, I might try this ECN one. Are you guys... Do you want to see some ship combat? <laughs> I think I I think I might... This is just a beginner ship, but I think I might be able to fly, uh... I might be able to fly well enough to do some ship combat. Yeah, let's try that. All right, we'll do this, we'll do this ship combat one in a, in a little bit. Plus, this ship combat gives me 21,000 UEC, which is actually... That's a lot. That's a lot of money, so... Um... Can I quantum travel yet? I don't think so. No. I need to leave the atmosphere. We're still, like, literally, literally, we are still leaving the atmosphere. It won't let me, it won't let me quantum travel or, or jump, space jump, until I'm out of the atmosphere of the planet. And this planet has such a thick, dense atmosphere that I, I have to go out a certain ways. Again, there, I, I think, 
you know, people ask me, like, hey, should I get this game? Well, just understanding that it's 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 less of a game and more of a, a space simulator. So if you are really, really excited and interested in, like, flying spaceships and doing space simulator things, then yeah, absolutely. This is a this is one of the best games. But if you if you're looking for like faster action and more intense gameplay, um, it can be a little bit slow at times. But that's also part of the journey, in my opinion. That's part of the experience. So I don't know. You guys can people people can decide for themselves. But I like this game because of its level of detail and just the space experience, regardless if it's a little bit slow at times. Um, there's a lot of other things that I that I like about it as far as like the gameplay and the different things that you can do, even if some things take more time than others, you know? Also, Connie, hello. Welcome to chat. Welcome to stream. What contract is that? I don't know. Um, so, one interesting thing that's going on... One interesting thing that's going on right now is all of the... All of the missions that are available to me automatically are uh, they're ones that are generated by the game, and they're like mostly NPC NPC driven missions. Um, but there is actually a there is actually a special event going by going on right now, um, and it has a bit of a story to it. Um, essentially, a couple patches ago, uh, a couple of patches ago, the game developers made this created this mission and they called it like a drug a drug tr uh, transport mission where you had to compensate compensate some illegal drugs um but then it broke and in, instead of giving you one it just kept giving you more and more and more and more and more and like illegal drugs <laughs> which which sell for a lot of money um uh, and that was a it was a glitch but players ended up like rushing to that area and there ended up being some like player versus player uh like battles as well which turned out to be really fun so now they've turned it into an official event that has an official time time stamp to it and it's actually going on right now if we wanted to do it we could try it but that's also pvp and i'm not necessarily ready to do that <laughs> unless you guys really wanted to see it <laughs> which i'd be down for all right before i fly out here um actually how far is it 75 it's not, that's not that far. It's on the it's on the moon, yellow. Uh, Splendinja, I'm checking in before I leave again, but Wind Trace is back in Genshin, so if you want to do a Genshin stream, the time would be now. Uh, I didn't say this before because I didn't think of it. Uh, bye! <laughs> Just thought I would say that. It's okay, Splendinja. Thank you for letting me know. Um, I'm not sure about Wind Trace, but I'll have a look. So now we are we are quickly departing the planet that we just that we just climbed out of. And it is very it is very and now we're going to one of the moons. Mm. Alright, now where's our mission? Uh, this is an NPC-driven mission, so we will... Alright, good. Just making sure my weapons work before I... <laughs> before I engage with somebody. You know, that's usually a good thing. Gosh, but this world is... Like, ugh. It's a beautiful game! It's... Like... Immaculate. Man. Alright, ready to go? Reminds me of No Man's Sky. It is very much like No Man's Sky, but there's a little... Oh. Gosh, this place is so dense. Alright. This is actually where... This this location is actually where I like to go uh, rock mining. Well, if we can get some mining gameplay today, I'll, I'll try and show you guys what that's like. Actually, we might be able to rent... Yeah, we might be able to do that. That's my freelancer. Yeah, that's the guy who's in. That's the guy who's in trouble. Okay, so this is the. This is the NPC who's in trouble. That's his ship here. So there might be a pirate. Oh, yeah, that's a pirate. All right, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All channels, my ship is being attacked. Need assistance, <laughs> over. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Alright. 
Is he gonna run to the rock? Got flares. Cool. That um, is a bigger ship. That is a much bigger ship than me, actually. doing things. <laughs> King Boo! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Give me a second. You're gonna pay for that. No, that's just an NPC. Hope there's not another ship, because I won't be able to take it on. Andrina, hi! What's going on? Thank you, King Boo. I'll get you. I'll get you set up in a second. I don't want to be in front of him. Wait, there's another guy here. Wait. Is that the... No? Alright, he's good. Is he okay? Oh, I got it. Sweet. Alright, we're good. Protect the dude. Um, so this guy has a... This guy actually has a... Um, this guy's a freelancer! Hope, are you, are you here by chance? So, this is a cargo ship. Um, and it is named the Freelancer which is a reference to the old Chris Roberts Freelancer game. And if you compare the, uh, if you do like a size comparison side by side, mine is, uh, mine is definitely smaller. It's kind of hard to tell the, it's kind of hard to tell the difference, but yeah, a little bit. But yeah, that's like, this is a pretty, that's like a medium, medium sized cargo ship. Um, it's just controlled by NPCs. So, uh, but that was like a little, a little automated mission that they had. So, oh, so cool. Anyway, that was fun. We'll find another. We'll find another mission to do, and we are uh, twenty-one thousand credits richer. So that's great. Also, guys, hi. Sorry, I missed some messages while we were uh, taking care of stuff. King Boo, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, you did a button. Nice. Member for two months. Time flies when you're having fun. Absolutely, dude. I hope things have been. Uh, I hope things have been going okay for you. Thank you for. Thank you for reminding us with uh, the button. I appreciate it. Can I zoom out? I don't know if I can zoom out. I'll just leave it here. Holy moly, it's a shiny Adirond. Master Ball. <laughs> How are you doing, friendo? Did you get my question in Discord? I did. So, Aaron, I'll be doing... Uh, I'll try and do the uh, the scavenger hunt that you've created when I can. Um, I don't know when I'll be streaming Minecraft next, but next time I have a chance, I'll, I'll jump in and, and do some scavenging. Uh, Gabe and AOA. Hello again. Hi, AOA. What's up? Um, I was thinking about Stardew, but I'm not sure how often I'd be able to play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Stardew... Um, I have not been able to play Stardew in a while, Haley, but... That's just because of a lot of other things. 
That's just because of a lot of other things have, have popped up, and my schedule is not as, uh, <laughs> my schedule is a little bit tighter than usual, but I'm going to hope to try it again if I can soon. Just thought I'd pop in to see how you've been having fun gaming. And I found Spl Splatoon again! Yay, Connie! <laughs> Um, we'll probably do some, uh, we'll probably do some, some Splatoon later next week, Connie. But yay, I'm glad you found it. That's good news. <laughs> you can play with us soon. Alright, um, I think what we'll do next, uh, I like, I like those missions because those are pretty easy. Uh, frankly, the NPCs are kind of, are kind of garbage at, um, flying. So, it's very easy to jump in and, and get some, get some easy cash. Um, I think the next one I kind of want to do is... Um, we gotta go to Selen. I, um, I don't want to go to Grim Hex. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. This is just a literally uh, one of the easiest missions you can do, but I kind of want to do it just to show you guys like what that what that would be like. We're gonna fly to another moon and then we're going to uh, deliver a package. Pretty easy. And I think. Goes the so there goes the moon that we just left. That's the planet that we left earlier. So there goes Crusader. And then here's the other moon. Uh, thank you. I've been really busy making my air on the server, and I hope that you'll uh, enjoy the hunt that I made for you. Absolutely, Aaron. I'm excited to show. Uh, I'm excited to show everybody, and also do it with you guys. That'd be fun. All right. So fortunately, you can quantum travel to like different points on the moon. Man, like. The detail of this game. It's so cool. Alright. Same kind of thing as No Man's Sky. You can also use quantum travel to go like around the atmosphere of a planet. Alright, don't mind me being upside down. <laughs> it's fine. Now, there is gravity, and there is, like, a full, like, realized atmosphere and everything like that, so... Alright. Uh... Alright, so now we're gonna go over here and grab the, uh, package. And if I do a scan, you can see... You can see there are some, like, there are some rocks. Those are mineable rocks, but I don't have the equipment to do so, so... We'll have to come back here later with a, uh... I'll we'll have to come back later with a mining ship to do so. Alright, 7,000. Alright. Channel for news, Adderon Gaming is upside down! Help! <laughs> Don't know what's going on, but that's upside down. Alright, where's this package at? Um, I don't know if I want to, I don't think I want to park on the landing pad because it'll get angry at me for blocking a, actually, well, it should be fine. It should be all right. <gasps> Waves! Hello! I hope you're having fun in space! <laughs> Hi, Jenna! <laughs> hope you're having fun in space. We're having a great, great, great time. We're actually having a lot of fun. But good to see you, Jenna. I hope that if you're working today, I hope things are going okay. Let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves landed. Oh, do I have to make a request? Is that a thing? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. All right, same same process as usual. You ask them uh, for a landing spot and then hopefully they, maybe? Did they give you a landing spot? No. <laughs> don't see a landing spot. Usually the UI tells you. Usually. All right, then we're just gonna park outside. <laughs> if you won't give me a spot, I'll make a spot. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That's one of the benefits of this. I mean, if you tried to do this on a space station, it would not work. Ah, perfect landing, nice. All right, we're gonna turn off our engines so that the ship doesn't float away. Engines. Otherwise, we're gonna leave the ship on, but we're gonna turn the uh, we're gonna turn the engines off. 
Let's figure out where this package is. Matt is spaced out. I am. <laughs> Very spacey person. Oh, there's our ship, just chilling. All right. Let's cycle the airlock. Whoop, whoop. All right. There we go. Cool. So this just looks like a little uh, agricultural center. Actually, I heard, I think in this update, I think in this update they added the ability to, like, loot things. So, maybe there's, maybe there's looting that you can do now. Oh, look at the plants. They don't, those don't have any functionality right now, but. Okay, let's grab this. I think the sounds for this are very, very, uh, <laughs> They're a little bit screwed up, but yeah. It was it took a long time for us to be able to actually get to this point of having, you know, physically realized stuff like this. <gasps> Tipo's YouTube! Hello Tipo's, how's it going? If I can open this door. It says close. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh alright. Maybe we can exit another way. I think you go faster if you crouch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no? Alright. I'm trapped. <laughs> Great. Alright. Let's, uh... Oh. For whatever reason, it just decided to work. That's cool. Alright. I won't ask questions. <laughs> I won't ask questions. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Starman by David Bowie said Intense Wise. <laughs> He's a Starman! <laughs> My day's going great, T-Pose. How's yours been? Uh, the question is... Can I... I don't know if I can... I'm not sure if there's a way to get this. Hang on. Can I just, like... Can I throw it in there? Ooh, hang on. Hang on, this is, this is gonna take some... Oh, there we go. Ah, perfect. All right, you know what? That works. That, that'll be fine. <laughs> we'll make this work. All right, we're gonna open up this side. Okay. This ship is not ideal for this, but we're gonna make it work anyway. I'm gonna pick this back up. Oh, shoot. Uh, grab. There we go, all right, perfect. <laughs> Did not like that. All right, we're gonna place it right here. Perfect. Okay, we made it. <laughs> there we go. And then we're gonna close that. Cool. And that's already closed. All right, so we're on our way. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, Christmas Cliff. Good morning. How's it going? Good to see you. Hope your Thursday's been swell. All right. Engines. Engines on. Off we go. All right. Now we gotta deliver it. We gotta deliver it on the. It looks like the other side of the planet. <laughs> Item stolen. <laughs> no, <laughs> Andrina. <laughs> we're not stealing it. We're using it for a. Uh, we're uh, we're doing a delivery mission. We're giving it to somebody who wants it. <laughs> Whether or not it's theirs, I have no idea. But we'll find out. All right. I think that, let's see here. Can I con travel? There we go. Fortunately, that atmosphere is a lot thinner. In other news, I got one job app out today in retail. Oh, does that work? Maybe. Um, still retail, but less like selling and just day-to-day full-time. So here's hoping. <gasps> Jenna, I hope that it goes okay. And good luck with your, good luck with applications. Um, maybe we gotta be higher. Okay. We'll just go up for now. Maybe. Come on, quantum travel. The moon does look sharp, though. There's all of the all of the planets in this game. I think are handmade. Um, it's 
not letting me quantum travel for some reason. I think we might, uh... Let's actually quantum travel out, and then we'll travel, we'll travel back in. Cancel. Cancel! <laughs> Cancel! <laughs> it's not canceling! <laughs> It just took a long time to... Uh, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Hang on. Now I gotta go back. <laughs> I just wanted to cancel it. <laughs> Dang it. I think that was a little bit of lag input, unfortunately. Alright. Back to the planet we go. <laughs> I will see your star man and play you Rocket Man! <laughs> Raise you one. No cancel for you. There we go. Now we should be able to. It's the Gillette family farm. <laughs> Get your razors here. Um, I'm good. I decided to come here again because the games streamed are really interesting. Oh, good day in the end. Fantastic Christmas. That's awesome. Um, there we go. Now we're going. Jupiter? I haven't done space things in a long time. No, this is a fictional universe, Christmas. So this isn't, uh, this isn't Jupiter that we were flying by. Um, the planet's name is actually called Crusader. Um, it's a fictional universe. Technically, I think, I think at, at one point in time, they were trying to get our, they were trying to get our universe, um, like our solar system, logged into this game. But I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's being done yet. Hope Ringer, welcome back! Hey! Were you? I don't think you were here while we uh, we saw a freelancer. <laughs> we saw a ship called a freelancer, and it's a it was a reference to the old Chris Roberts game. But yeah, these are like all of the cockpits in this game are all are all like highly detailed. Whoa, oops. Um, the cool thing about this, one of my favorite things, is that you can interact with these different uh, with all of these different items. I'll show you in a second once we actually start to land. I did not. I can go back to see. I don't know how far I don't know how far back it was. It was probably like 10 to 15 minutes back when we were in space. Or honestly, we might come we might come across one again. Hope we shall see. Um, right now we're doing a really simple uh, box delivery mission. Um, are they gonna ask me to? Let's see. It doesn't look like they have a landing pad, so we're just gonna just gonna pop in here. out Whoosh. yeah so if you wanted to so say for example i wanted to turn off my engines you can look over here and you can say like power off or um engines on open exterior so i'm going to actually turn my engines off just by looking at the actual like physicalized that says engine <laughs> and when you press it it turns the engine off like oh that is that's so cool to me. And like fully fully physicalized interiors and everything. And smashing your head through the window. You know, that's fine. Uh, don't exit, don't exit, don't exit. Ah, shoot. All right. Hmm. It was 15 minutes ago. Thanks, Andrina. Oh, hey, come back. I need my package. <laughs> uh, open door. All right, fine. Open the ladder. <laughs> Dang, man. Yeah, this, it, it's got, this level of detail is just with everything. Can I, uh, it is going to be a little bit buggy. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to grab this. <laughs> the sound, the sound collision for some things isn't always realized, but that, you know, that's fine. They're working on it. Also, Fire Squid, what's up? This game looks cool. I know a friend that was talking about it. Star Citizen, specifically? It's still an alpha. It still has its bugs. It still has its problems, but it's still a really cool game, in my opinion. I just like it for the the universe sim part of it. It's great. Let me bring out ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> Good choice, Jenna. Mm, take Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> or... 
The package is trying its best. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're not gonna drop this off. Wow, somebody left their place in an absolute wreck. Oh, I still need to... I, I need to look around for stuff. That's right. <laughs> Folds, you win. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Okay, here we go. Drop off. Boop. A little ship. A little uh, shipping thingy. <gasps> Zion Orion! What's up, man? Oh my gosh. It's happening. Holy cow. Zion, how's it going, dude? Yeah, this is uh, 3.16. And we're just doing some of the... We're actually starting off with like some of the basic missions. How's it going, Zion? Dude. Oh my gosh. So, quick, quick backstory. Um, I actually made some Star Citizen videos <laughs> years ago, <laughs> years ago, like 2018 or so, and this was before I started streaming, this was before I started doing any of that, um, and Zion Ryan actually was way, way back then, uh, hanging out on those videos in the comments when I was making, just, at that point, I wasn't even able to, to record or make content because the game was just super, super unoptimized, um, but now here we are, years later, and you can find, oh, what's this? <gasps> Loot! Oh, what up? Oh. Um. It's, uh, there's Ranta Dung, there's Poop, and there is Sunset Berries, which are toxic. <laughs> um, can I sell these? I don't even have, can I? Okay. I've never actually looted something before. That's interesting. All right, can I just can I <laughs> can I take this uh, can I take these can I take this box of rat dung with me? <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? You can sell anything, just take it. <laughs> Dang man. All right, we're just okay. We dropped off. Okay, mission complete, guys. Mission complete. We 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 accomplished our goal. However, however. Oh, can I not, can I take this? No, I don't think I can take the package with me. Oh, shoot. But wait, poop in space? I don't think I can take the container. And I don't have any, mm, do I have a, I should be able to. Huh. I don't think I have any storage. I don't think I have any storage on this spacesuit. I don't have any, I don't have any pockets. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I don't have any pockets. Well, that's gonna be a problem we're gonna have to fix. All right, that's hilarious. Uh, I'm gonna save this for posterity's sake. I kinda wanna like take a screenshot or something. And you know what? I'm streaming, that counts. <laughs> that counts. Well, unfortunately guys, I'm sorry. We, we can't, we can't claim the Ranta dung, the Ranta poop. But uh, we'll have to go. I I want to go get a backpack now, specifically so I can I can start picking up other things. Um, can I sit somewhere? Oh, oh, hello. What's this? Oh, there's a combat knife. What? Okay, but this is actually okay. But this is actually really cool. Dang it! <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> boop, boop, poop box. <laughs> Dang it. I look back and I see what's like a classical sta statue standing in the corner. What? This guy is a statue? Or was it there, was there a statue that I missed, Kami? Uh, Haley, I forgot how much I used to be scared of space when I was younger. Probably because I was just so small and space was so big. But now I absolutely love space and it looks amazing. It looks incredible, doesn't it? And also a little cloudy. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, and Fire Squid, unfortunately... Uh, Star Citizen is only available on PC. I say unfortunately because I know there's a lot of people on console who would love to be able to play it, um, but it really, the high detail of this game comes because only people with like super beefed up computers can actually run it, <laughs> unfortunately. So it's, uh, right now, I don't think they have any plans to push it to a console, but it is on PC. Um, if you guys are interested in, uh, in actually trying it, um, you can look and see if your computer is able to handle it um, on RSI's website. I can find, I can get the website to you if you wish. There's water. Can I take the water? Can I read this book? Uh, kind of. 
when the elitist, when the, when the elite, when the client decides, hey, I should be reimbursed. It will spawn a little task here until this task will say, hey, data store, I need to be, I need to be restored. And data, is this? Whoa, wait a minute, this looks like, Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this book called? This looks like notes from a meeting. Dude, wait a minute. This looks like notes from a from like a, a developer meeting. Now this task, let's see. One, we get the disconnect. Two, we shut down the player and it, w it wants to clean up. So this task may may get spun off a few different times. I think it is! No, I think it seriously is. So what we're gonna do is say, hey, as long as we can have player information, so the persistent database will say that it's done, the player will no longer be in this list. If he's in the list, then we wanna make sure that he's in disconnecting, he's in the disconnecting errand? Uh, we don't have, we don't have to spawn another thread. What? What the heck? But also we don't wanna we don't wanna spawn another player, so we're gonna give them an error code. Wait, so if someone decided, hey, we're gonna spawn another task, even though even though Dan sucks? What? <laughs> Her task was already made, it will delete the task, but not kill the player. Yo. That's that's actually really cool. Huh. The things that happen when you actually take a look at these things. Specifications of version two. Dang, dude. So I think they just had to have an open book and they were like, hey, what should we put in this open book? And they said, well, you know what? We're just gonna take, uh, we're just gonna put some meeting notes on it. <laughs> Why not? All right. I think, oh, what's in here? Anything? Oh gosh, a bunch of, who is having a party? Who lives here? Saturday, 2.25 PM. League game, 6 PM, pens. Notepads, cables, deodorant, tissues. Wow, someone is, uh, someone is living their best life in here. <laughs> oh, it's a little house of cards. Can I mess with it? Can I, I don't know. This is an armistice zone, so I can't shoot anything. Interesting. Uh, it seems like it's your character. The angle lighting made the wrinkles of the suit look like chiseled muscles. Oh, is that what it was? Wait, oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, 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 like, <laughs> the suit is just so strong, yes. <laughs> Kami. Oh, my goodness. Ba -da -da. All right, let me, uh, I don't think I can sleep here. Oh, there's a teddy bear. That's cool. All right, I kind of want to take the stuff that's here. I mean, that's why it's, that's why it's loot. But I can't pick up this box, I don't think. And I also don't have a backpack. But I do have storage on my ship. So, can I... Alright, we're gonna try something. We're gonna load... This is a little bit... Oh. Uh, it's trying to... Um, it's taking a second. Oh, yep, it's working. Alright, it's trying to. Muscular! <laughs> when the game goes big brain, yes. Such detail, you can even read the book. That's the cool part about this. And I'm sure that, okay, in reality, I'm sure if the game was fully released, that book might have some more information, like some more relevant information. But right now, they just, I, I'm pretty sure they just put that as a placeholder. Read the notes on the PC? Oh, on the computer? The sticky notes? I don't think they had anything. I think it was just more like to-do lists. I'm trying to transfer this. Okay. Okay, that worked. I don't want the sunset berries. What is this? Amiosh Plague? What? Amiosh Plague is a lichen that grows on the cracks of rocks. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave that there. <laughs> Ew. All right, is there anything in here? I don't think so. I've got three SCU. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, okay, processed food, waste. 
I saw that and I was like, wait, is this? <laughs> is this drugs? <laughs> wait. Um, so technically we could... So part of the process of this game is we could buy these cargo commodities. Like I could buy this... This is distilled spirits. So this is like wine or something like that. I could buy this wine for $4.2 a piece. And I could go to another trade station and sell it for five dollars and get eighty cents profit. Now, with my tiny, with my teeny tiny little ship, that doesn't earn a lot of profit. That's like eighty cents times three, so like two dollars forty cents. That's not that. That's not great. But if you have a gigantic ship that can transport, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of commodities, then yeah, sure, like that makes it that makes it worth it. All right, now I'm gonna try and do something. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work, but we'll try it. We'll, we'll try it out. <laughs> no drugs is family friendly. Oh, there's drugs in this game. <laughs> there are drugs in this game. Actually, there's a. I was talking about a player event. Um, Zion, did you? Uh, Zion, have you played any of the Jump Town event? I tried it for a little bit, but. Um, and I'm flying in uh, an Aurora LN just because I want to show. I want to show what the player experience is like. When you just when you first starting out, like this is what most people would be doing if they wanted to start playing the game. Um, I personally have a an Argo Mole, so I have a I have a multi crew mining ship on my on this account actually. But today I just wanted to do some I just want to do some basic stuff. It's chaotic, right? There's different things can happen. Um, when I jumped in a couple of times, uh, it was a conga line, so there was some people who were just uh, you know they were being friendly and all that stuff, which is fine. Um, right now I'm looking at chat and it looks like, it looks like everybody at Jump Town is pretty, it's pretty chaotic right now. It's, um, maybe there's an organization there who's like, you know, killing people. I don't know. We'll see. But we could go there. We could go there just to check it out. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. Um, now here's what I wanted to do. Oh, wait, I need to do this first. I wanted to try something. Uh, technically, uh, vehicles. Oh, I can. Okay, sweet. So something that's uh, this is. I don't know if, if this is how this was intended to work, but there are different things that have storage, and so what I did in the in the building was I moved I moved all of those commodities out of the little loot box, and I made and I moved them to the the storage the stowage space of the building itself. Now, because we're close enough to the building, both my ship and the building both register as stowage spaces. So we're actually gonna be able to move this over from the building to the stowage space in my ship. Now that's not that's not on my person. That's not on my person, but it is like, I, I have it in the ship now. Okay, perfect, no, that's, that is exactly what I hoped would happen. So fortunately, we just we were registered close enough to the building that we could we could take that stuff. So that's good. We didn't have to have a backpack or anything crazy like that. Make sure your <laughs> make sure your insurance is up to date. Oh yeah. We'd have to if we if we go over there. Um, I would just go over there to like you know experience it. Actually, wait, where, where is Jump Town right now? So, like I was saying earlier, guys, Jump Town is a... Jump Town is an event made by the made by the game, but literally it just spawns illegal drugs, and real players have to decide, are they going to confiscate it and sell it, or are they going to, like, let everybody, like, participate and let any players come? Are they going to shoot down any, like, players that they don't know? Are we gonna cooperate? Are we gonna be uh, aggressive toward each other? Like, it's up to the players. The only thing that's in the game right now is that there is a drug lab and it spawns drugs. That's it. And you have a place that you can sell them and you can have a place that you can like move them to. That's all. The rest of the experience is kind of like, it's up to like whatever happens. Some players decide that they wanna be cooperative and everybody like forms a big assembly line and then they just, they just pull drugs out of the building and they sell them and everybody gets a lot of profit. But then sometimes organizations of, of, of other players will just lock down that drug lab and shoot down anybody that comes near it. So it's, I'm probably gonna do it at some point tonight. I just wanna try it out. Um, it, ah, one of my favorite things is that 
that's a great example of something where the game has kind of evolved into not just being not just being like oh you jump into this game specifically to play those delivery box missions you know how i just like dropped off a box at the farm it's kind of like like eh, okay you can drop how many times can you drop off a box before it gets a little bit boring but being able to like be part of these like interesting events and stuff oh it's just to me that is so cool to me that is so neat all right, we're gonna we're gonna do another ECN alert. Um, this is another this is another pirate fighting thing, so comes with a lot of profit. Should be pretty easy, so we'll see. We're going to yellow. Boom. And the interesting thing is that I would say I would say even just like even one year ago, maybe maybe even just one year ago, none of this was even possible. Like they they wouldn't have had all of the things in the alpha in the alpha build yet to accomplish this kind of thing. So, oh shoot, is that on the other side of the planet? I think it's on the other side of the planet. Dang it. All right, hang on a second. I gotta travel over here. Arg! <laughs> to defeat the pirates! <laughs> yeah, this, oh, that did nothing. Great. Thank you, game. Um, I'm using these things called orbital markers. Um, orbital markers help you quantum travel around the planet, so. And now we go over here. Sweet. All right. So again, this this is just another like uh, NPC NPC event. So not real players, but good amount of money. Um, is this like No Man's Sky? Ace. Uh, it kind of is. I would say this is No Man's Sky is definitely more of like an open world like explorative game, and. And No Man's Sky puts a huge emphasis on uh, No Man's Sky puts a huge emphasis on like exploration and discovery and whatnot. Whereas um, I would say No Man's Sky, or sorry, Star Citizen is more of a like actual space simulator and not a little less focused on the exploration. There will be exploration in this in this game eventually, but right now they don't have uh, they don't have all those elements in place. What ship do they have actually? Oh, they have a constellation! <gasps> this is one of my favorite ships Attention. in the game. Attention! If anyone can hear this, I need combat assistance! Yes, I know. I don't know how much longer I can hold on for! Alright, alright, so I'm here. What is that? It's a Drake Cutlass. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Didn't say it was family friendly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shut your mouth, you pirate! <laughs> Oh, we knocked off a we knocked off a front of a ship too. There is like procedural damage to this. Nice. Yeah, I want to. I want to start streaming No Man's Sky too, Kadena. Like it would be, it would be so much fun. Also to do like a comparison between these games too. Cause I think, I I would never, I never want to be somebody who pits like games against each other. Like I wouldn't pit No Man's Sky against Star Citizen. I think each of them have their. Ooh, that's an asteroid. Ugh. Um, I think each of them have things that people would enjoy about them, but each of them like you know, have certain things that people would like. They both have their own strengths and their own weaknesses. Alright, can I dumb fire a missile at this guy? I don't know. I don't think I can. Maybe not. Just pacing me out here. Did your parents know you go around shooting people? 
<laughs> Pirates are great. <laughs> What's your favorite game to stream? I would say probably Splatoon. Um, just because Splatoon is something I can always... Okay. That was close. This is just painful to watch. Putting you down will be doing you a favor. Okay. I think that's it. Objective complete. Nice. Alright. Um. Also, I want to show you this. I want to show you guys this ship, because this is one of my favorites. Oops. A little too fast. Don't run an asteroid. gonna leave or you gonna chill here so this is the um, this is the constellation this thing is a multi cruise ship it's a lot bigger than mine it's a little bit hard to see oh man this game okay so this ship this ship is actually super cool so it's multi crew it's I'll show you it's a little bit bigger it's def definitely bigger than mine so I'm a tiny little thing. This dude is like pretty huge. That's a multi crew ship. So it's got, you can actually see it. It's got a turret on the bottom. It's got a turret on the bottom, turret on the uh, on the top. And a little hard to see. But one of the coolest things about it is uh, it's got a it's got a giant cargo bay on the bottom right there. And then that little white thing, that's a snub fighter. That's a little a little ship that can dismount. And you can fly that, like, on its own, almost as, like, a little, like, shuttle that pops off. And it's got some pretty strong weapons on it. It's actually really cool. But it'll just dock automatically onto this ship. I love the Constellation. I'm definitely going to get one for myself. But it's pretty expensive in the game, too, so we'll see. Oh, it just, it looks, looks beautiful. Anyway. All right, I'll chat with you guys. I'll chat with you guys for a second, then we'll, uh, we'll keep, we'll keep moving. Um, da, 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 da. If you take out a Cutlass and an Aurora, I'm selling mine. <laughs> Scion, no. I think part of it was that the Constellation also had some turrets going on the on the against that Cutlass, and um, and I've also got four weapons on this on this Aurora too, because this Aurora is a little bit beefier. It's got some weapons. Dun, 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 dun. Best way to scare a kidnapper off. Sleep with the closet door open in your room facing away from it. They'll think that something is wrong. <laughs> Get scared. Waffle, what are you talking about? Also, hey, dude. How's it going? Did you guys beat the Ender Dragon, by the way, Waffle? I don't mind that you did. It's totally fine. Uh, to me, No Man's Sky is kind of stressful the first time playing. No Man's Sky was a lot to a lot to take in at once. And this game can frankly be like that, too. This game does not give you a lot of guidance. That's why I said the beginning is, the beginning is hard. Like, starting off just on your own in this game... It gives you very little guidance, very little direction on, like, where to go and what to do. Um, so it can be a challenge, but I like it just because of the... I, I like it for its level of detail in that, too. Um, it doesn't give you... Sometimes it doesn't give you a UI. It just gives you, like, road signs. It, like, as if it was in real life. Like, you'd have to look for different rooms, different buildings, stuff like that. And a lot of Google. A lot of Google. Uh, Smiley! Adderon, hello! Uh, you're not gonna believe what I did. I actually made art actual actual art again after months <laughs> i'm happy but tired that's awesome smiley if i had my if i had my yay button which i don't i would be playing it right now <laughs> but that's great smiley if you ever want to show it off either on discord or wherever it might be um please feel free to but i'm glad that you're you're back in the back in the art groove that sounds fantastic rocks are cool and interesting oh Haley, i can show you let me chat first um i'll show you what it might be like to uh to do some of the mining in a little bit i'll show you Dun, dun, dun. Um, dun, 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 dun. Also, Zion, does that mean that you have a... Do you have a Cutlass Black, by chance? Cutlass is great. It's... I. A lot of people complain that the Cutlass isn't, isn't the best ship, but that's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the jack of all trades, not the master of anything particularly, so... I like the Cutlass. I rented it a lot to do some, some trading. It was fun. I'll be listening to stream when I'm doing Wind Trace on my sister's account. Okay, Andrina's doing Genshin. No problem, Andrina. Thanks for thanks for chilling. Um, also, it's good. People went to the end uh, when you aren't streaming because oh, the server has really bad lag lag spikes in the in the end. Waffle. Okay. Uh, Aqua and Mystic kindly donated the dragon egg to the Zinguana Sniffer Shrine. Okay, as long as that's as long as that shrine egg or that dragon egg is not the only thing there, that's fine. <laughs> as long as we protect it, that's all right. 
You surrounded the dragon egg with barrier blocks. Okay, thank you. Perfect. That's fine. Um, you have all three! Oh, sweet! So, the cutlass blue, the red, and the black. Honestly, Zion, I, I kind of wanted to be that guy, and I kind of wanted to take a cutlass red to jump town <laughs> and have a med gun and just be like, yo, I'm here for medical duty, <laughs> and just see what the reaction would be. Just see what it is. Well, also, um, I mean, even besides just going to jump town, just taking a taking a, a cutlass red and going to like medical beacons so um what zion and i are talking about guys is sometimes like players uh actually let's see if there's a contract um sometimes players can actually like get hurt and and be incapacitated and you might get a mission to go like save them um usually it comes up as like a medical emergency so you can you can quantum jump to them and these are like real players say somebody has like some really valuable stuff um and they want they don't want to lose it then you could go out there and actually heal him and prevent them from incapacitating uh two freelancers and a few others like mining ships and bikes oh my gosh yeah and that's the thing zion i don't know i don't know what your take is but i know that people are really frustrated with how it's just it's been going on and on and on and you've spent over 5k like on ships but since like 2012 and the games just still isn't out i mean it's it's out to a certain capacity but not at all what they what they're promising um did you read the most recent report i let me link it in chat because oh shoot oh, i'll do that don't tab out in this game yep i can't tab out in this game dang it all right i'll be right back <laughs> oh wait there we go it works gosh yeah tabbing out just like screws it up um Okay, first of all, for those who are interested, let me actually get you guys to the site. If you wanna, if you wanna poke around some of these things, um, that is not what I wanted. This is like the actual. This is like the actual site itself. Um, and then Zion. There was a, there was an article, um, there was an article, I, I don't really like the way that the article is, is written, um, it was an article by, uh, MCV Develop, I've never heard of them before, I liked some of the people's reactions on YouTube a little bit better, um, but basically, MCV was, was interviewing the COO of Star Citizen and just asking them about, like, future plans, and basically they outlined like what what cig is going to be doing for the next five years which just seems uh, five years on top of everything yeah exactly five years for an, for another for a game that we've already been spending 10 years waiting for is just it's inane um anyway so uh i'm going to show you guys what this would be like if we were in a mining ship right now um these don't have any quantanium in them, but that's fine. So, out of all of these rocks, these are mineable ones. So, if we scan them... So, we're going to do a little scanning thing. Beedy, 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 boop. Um, so, you can see that they've got... We can see, like, the mass of the rock, and we can see some other statistics about it. Um, there's the rock right there. And then you can see, like, what's mineable in it. There's a whole... This has hef, hefast... I don't know, whatever that is. Hefastonite. Um, it only has 2%. So this is not a good rock. But you can do this with all sorts of different rocks that are that you find out here that are um, that show up with these little icons. So, like, there's a huge cluster over there. So we can explore that cluster. Um, whole lot of stuff. Now, unfortunately... Okay, this actually... What's also cool... You see how this rock has... It has the asteroid symbol, but then it also has these two... I don't know if you can see it at the very center. There are these two little light blue icons. So those are actual gems that can be mined by hand. So if we get close enough... Yeah, you see these two these two rocks? They have little gem streaks in them. So we can actually mine those by hand. Um, unfortunately, I did not bring a mining tool with me, so we can't do that. But... I think one of the cool things to do is to go out and uh, do some hand mining. Unfortunately, to mine the the giant rocks, you need a legit you need a legit uh, mining ship. Unfortunately, so we can't just we can't just go out and do it. 
Um, Zion, it's frustrating, yes, but I can see the progress they're making, and honestly, I've already gotten my money's worth, not to mention the friends I've made! Exactly! I've got... I've met a couple different people. Um, my favorite thing has been the different the different friends that I've met uh, in the game, just from, like, doing silly things. Uh, let's see. So, I met Captain Taco, random dude, because he had a, a, a Crusader um, C2 Hercules with a full cargo cargo hold, and the ship was on a on a planet that had high wind, and it, it actually lifted the ship off of the ground in a way that he couldn't he couldn't get to it. He couldn't jump onto the ramp. So he friended me, I added him to my party, I went over with my ship, we got him onto my ship and then opened the door, and then like maneuvered my ship in a way so that he could jump out of my ship and into his his C2, his cargo ship, and he was able to fly away. He gave you some credits for it. But like that's not a that's not a contract in the game. That's not a mission that shows up. That's just kind of the that's just the emerging gameplay. Those are the emerging things that just come out of that just come out of playing this game. That's why I love it. And that's actually why as as aggressive and chaotic as Jump Town is, I think that's why Jump Town is actually kind of kind of cool because it's just like random play interactions that could just be a lot of fun. Um what's another one? Uh Let's see. When pigs fly is the name of a person who I was, I had a mole, I had a multi-crew mining ship and I was like, Hey, does anyone want to try out multi-crew mining? And these two people were just like, yo, I'll sign up. And so added these two guys, they got to try multi-crew mining for the first time, added up adding, ended up adding them on later. So I don't know. Classic star citizen, right? Zion. That's, that's, that's another big reason to play this in my opinion that I enjoy playing this game, even if it's just in alpha, even if it's if it's not fully released, even if it doesn't have all the features that they've promised, there's a lot of things that we don't have yet. Exploration, salvage, cargo refractor, um, the the single player game, single player campaign, Squadron 42. Like we don't have a lot of things. Is there another ECN alert? Where? All right, I could just do ECN alerts all day. That'd be fine. How far away is it, though? I gotta go out here. Alright, I don't mind this. I actually, I like the ECNs because they pay well, and I really like space combat. I think space combat's a lot of fun. I'm not the best in the world, but I still find it entertaining, so I'm gonna keep doing these because they're, they're simple and they're fast. Might have to go and get some more fuel though soon. Might run out. Dun, dun, dun. Also Christmas. Sorry, I. Yeah, I'm running out of fuel. Um, nice returning here to witness some space. But I have to prepare some huge things tomorrow. Well, good luck Christmas. I know they've already probably headed out, but take care, friends. Um, Haley, I don't. Don't most open world games take years to be created? Kind of like how it was a while before Breath of the Wild was released. I think. Well, so the biggest difference about that. Haley is that games like Breath of the Wild are coming from a specific developer like Nintendo and a specific studio um, like Nintendo, whereas this game is actually completely crowdfunded. So every dollar that's been that's that this game is being built upon is was made by or was was provided by people like me and Zion and other people who donated. What ship is that? Oh shoot. Uh. All right. All ships in rage. I am under attack. Please, please help me. Um, this might be a problem. So you guys remember that ship that I just showed you was really cool and really big? Uh, yeah, we're fighting one now. Um, all right. Hi, colorful. <laughs> I might have gotten in over my head, but hello. <laughs> Good to see you. Oh shoot. I don't think my weapons are strong enough for this. Shields dead. No. Uh. Hmm. Interesting. It's an intergalactic ship war, <laughs> basically. Um. Oh. Whoa. I almost hit that rock. 
it's really it's really hard to fight in these in these asteroid fields. I don't know if I'll have enough. Uh, all right, we might have to. All right, I'm gonna have to leave that constellation, and I might just have to get this. There's another constellation. There's two of them. All right, I might not be able to do this. I don't think I'll be able to. Uh, well, we'll try. I might be chipping away at these things for days, but we'll try it out. What is that? Yeah, there's two constellations. I don't know if we'll be able to do this. Um, his rear, his rear shield is out. So let me go to the rear. <laughs> Come on. I need to stay behind it. I don't know if that guy's gonna survive this long. Check uh, fire. There's two constellations on it. I need to take out at least one. Check fire. <laughs> I'm just a little starter ship. I don't think I have enough damage for this thing. Nope. I lost. They just destroyed it. How many constellations was this? There's four ships here! There's four constellations! Nope. I'm out. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> I'm out. Oh. Jeez. Nope. That's a... I don't think there's a way to... Dang, dude. Yeah, and I don't think there's a way to know. There's no way to know, like, what you're getting into. It just says, like, hey... Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna bug out. There's no reason to stay here. Just go somewhere. Let me know if you if you want to play Wind Trace later on. Is Wind Trace a specific event? Is Wind Trace a specific event, Andrina? On on Genshin? Alright. Well, that was a fail. But not necessarily my fault. <laughs> Missiles or boarding party. Unfortunately, Zion, uh, for whatever reason, the middle mouse button. Oh. I had it for a second. My middle mouse button does not work very well. Oh, there we go. I don't know. I have to I have to put it on a more reliable I have to switch it to a more reliable uh thing, but sometimes I don't know if my keybinds can change. Like I've tried to if you go to vehicles and you go to if you go to vehicles and you go to missiles, it doesn't have it doesn't have a spot on here to change missile mode. It doesn't have anything on there. It just says fire weapon group one, two. It doesn't have anything about switching it to missile mode. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Keybinds. Launch missiles. Toggle missile mode is like clicking, 
clicking on the mouse wheel and my mouse wheel is either broken or something isn't working properly, but Ugh, anyway. Dun, 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 dun. That's why I'm not able to use missiles as much. It's an event on Genshin. It's like prop hunt. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Um, do you have to play with players though, Andrina? Dun, 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 dun. Matt, have you met Sword yet? I have not met Sword, but I know of Sword. He's the other. He's the Twitch Star Citizen streamer that you watch, right? I do believe. Bum, 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 bum. Also colorful. Hopefully, your, hopefully your evening has been going great. Hopefully, you're well. Um, all right. So I think we should. I think we should look for a new contract. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of box delivery ones. I don't really want to deliver all these packages. Oh, these are like multiple ones. Oh, jeez. All right, I don't really want to do these right now. Um, I kind of want to try one of these more more dangerous ones. Um, Zetaprolonide. These. I might need an Avenger for this, though, because I won't be able to store it. That's the problem. Because my Aurora will not be able to... <laughs> well, actually, you know what? <laughs> we're going to do it. We're going we're gonna to try it. We're going to see if this works. Um, this is mega dangerous, though, so we need to... We need to go get a... We need to actually go get a... Oh! Ooh. All right, I kind of want to go in... I kind of just want to go in bare bones. Engines. That was my engines. Oops. I kind of want to go in and do this like bare bones. Um, let's do one of them. What was it? Delivery. It was search, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, where is this at? There might be dangerous hostiles. That's fine. There's a freelancer. Rio's break on Damar. All right. That's a really far way away, but we'll we'll go there. Pick up package. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Got this. Um, Jeremy, it's under vehicles, seats, and operator modes. Thank you. Let me let me check real quick. Um, I see. I feel like I've, I feel like I've I've tried that before though. Missile operator mode. I feel like that's when you're. Isn't that when you're in? A turret, though, not necessarily. That's when you're in a turret, not necessarily like in a. Well, we'll try it. Press to unbind. Um, let's just test it with, uh, I don't know, slash. Let's just let's just try that. Let's see if it works. It does work. No, thank you so much, Jeremy. That's huge. I've been. I've literally been avoiding missiles <laughs> because because my middle mouse button has been so janky. Thank you. So actually, maybe I could have used the uh, maybe I could have used missiles against those constellations and maybe done a little bit better of a job. But who knows? <laughs> um, all right, let's not put it on slash. That was just to test something. So let's actually put it on. Can I bind it to my mouse? Sure. All right, I think it works for me. All right, cool. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jeremy. That helps a ton. All right, maybe if I have another, uh, maybe if I have another like crazy ECN alert, I might be able to like take things on. <laughs> we'll see. Um, Sword has been on Twitch and YouTube. He streams Star Citizen, right? He said he might stream this weekend. Um, oh, but he's been off because of COVID. That makes sense. Well, I hope he's okay. Wait, this is pickup. Are we doing the right thing? Are we? Where is this at? I thought it said, oh, I have to drop it off at Daymar, right? Yeah, it's on yellow. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of a, I'm going to, before we engage with this, I'm gonna drop stuff off. Yeah, I'm gonna drop some things off. So one of my favorite Actually, one of my favorite stations in the game is Crew L1. Um, I My favorite thing in, in Star Citizen right now is mining. Um, I think I'll get into salvaging more once we actually uh, once we actually get salvaging in the next couple months. But Crew L1, Crew 
Corel One is my favorite place for, uh, it's kind of like the hub for me for all my mining stuff, so I'm going to drop my stuff off there. Hopefully that'll work. Um, he said it really sapped his energy. He had a bad round of it. Dang, I hope he feels better soon. I think I've, I think I've followed him uh, on Twitch. So, and I've also, I also added his notifications. So, if uh, it went, whenever he goes live, Kadena, I'll probably meet up and uh, go check out his stream. He seems like a really cool guy. I think he was doing Arena Commander earlier, last time I watched him. Um, he streams Star Citizen. Him and his buddy Cobra both do. Cobra started streaming Star Citizen when it was first being played. I think officially for them, but not sure. Well, that's cool. That must have been like when Star Citizen was first being played way back when i followed i started following this back in 2016 and i obviously it's been out since it's been announced since 2012 back when i played it i was just using a i was just using a laptop and i could barely uh i could I could barely render in the, the hangers <laughs> but it was still cool just to like jump in the game and, and look at the detail of the ships all right let's drop off some stuff Auto drive is not all i kind of want to i kind of want to play this like really risky but I also don't want to lose that stuff that we looted earlier so right. Cobra's a big deal for some reason but my brain forgot why <laughs> uh, like a big Star Citizen streamer particularly Kadena I think I might be coming in too hot but that's fine work with it. Uh, good old crew L1. If it works. There we go. Usually they drop you off at pad one. Yep, there we go. No, I mean he worked with them as an official streamer or something. Oh that's neat. I wonder if he was doing stuff like back in the day when they were only when they only had arena commander and stuff like that. So the way to refuel nowadays is just doing doing this. So and it just automatically refuels you while you're on the pad. Um, I think the uh, what I'm excited for right now when you when you transport cargo, the cargo basically just gets magically transported from your ship to the station that you're at. But in the next couple patches, um, they're doing what's called a cargo refractor, which means that they're changing the way that, that cargo is interacted with so that it's fully physicalized. Um, kind of like how we were moving those boxes by hand earlier. And I, I can't wait until these big, huge doors, which are the cargo, these are like the cargo loading zones. I think they there's a big sign that says like cargo somewhere. Um, I can't wait for these to be opened and suddenly we have to move you know, cargo, like, back and forth and stuff. I think that'll be so cool. Um, but what I wanted to do right now was I wanted to get that stuff. I wanted to grab that stuff that we found. Uh, yes, so we're going to do the same thing that we did earlier, but in reverse. Um, so I'm going to take that, those little uh, things that we found that we looted earlier and just keep them safe at Crew L1 just so that we have these for... I wanted to hold on to them. Okay. And I think I have my pistol. I hope I have some rounds in it. <laughs> we'll find out. But anyway. So we got some gas. We got some fuel. We loaded off our stuff. Loading and unloading. The new MMO grind! Yes, but it's an immersive grind, Zion! <laughs> it's an immersive grind! I don't know. I just... I think it'll be fun. I mean, it'll be so cool to see everything, like, in the physical verse. It'll be cool. I know that there's a lot of different games that people like to grind and people like to play. Um, but, you know, sometimes people say that Elite Dangerous is another big, like, star game that people like to, like to grind. 
Thank you. And please visit again. But, like I said earlier, I'm I'm not trying to pit any of these games. How did this work? Not letting it work. Good night, people. Good night, Waffle. Thanks for keeping us updated, buddy. And I'll catch you soon. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm doing this weekend, Waffle. But I'll I'll let you know. I'll let you know if anything comes up. I don't know why it's not letting me QT. Alright. I'm gonna try the other method. Go somewhere else. I don't know. <gasps> Is that a ninja in my chat? Is that a ninja? <laughs> Hi Carlos! What's up, dude? How's it going? Happy Thursday, my friend. How have things been today? I'm being abused by a banana. I'm gonna stop eating it. Kadena, what are you doing? Hope you're not slipping on it. Alright, there we go. Does Inguana Sniffer will be excited to see you on Monday if you stream Minecraft? I probably will be streaming Minecraft on Monday. Well, actually, I'm I'm back into rehearsals next week, so I'll have to see. But Waffle, I'm planning on it. Maybe it's Animal Form will be like, what are you even talking about? <laughs> I will, Waffle, I cannot wait. I can't wait to see what crazy things you guys have done over there. I know that you guys have done a lot of like you're building a couple things, you've got you've got some things in store for me, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. But take care, Waffle. Thanks for jumping in with us, man. I'll catch you later. Uh, Zion, it makes risks very real, thus the game much more exciting. I agree. I agree. The more risk that there's involved. In fact, that's what actually makes Jump Town kind of uh, not necessarily lackluster, but there's not necessarily a huge risk of investment for Jump Town. You know, people just go in there, and they can do whatever they want, and that makes it, I don't know, to me, that kind of pulls from the, that pulls from what you're risking. If you just go in there with, like, you know, no armor, no gun, you're just asking for a, a, a box, it's like, well, okay, but you're not really putting anything on the line. So, I don't know. I still, I still think it's a cool event. Also, Jeremy, when the quantum thing does that, you can just spin a loop and it usually works. Oh, spin in a circle. Really? Okay. I just I just did a quick little uh, jump to another another point, but I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Jeremy. It seems you have a lot of experience in this, too. <laughs> so, I appreciate your help. Jeremy, I don't know specifically what you, what you like to do in Star Citizen, but I've had a lot of different... There's been a lot of different bugs that have happened, and a lot of things that you just have to find little workarounds for. Um, like the quantum travel that we just experienced, right? Um, I think I got a stomach bug! Oh, Carlos! Because my tummy is hurting! What did you have recently, man? I hope not. <laughs> Carlos, you're not allowed to be sick. Stop it! <laughs> I wish it was all- I wish it was just that easy, Kadena, right? Just say, like, you're not allowed to be sick. That's all. Uh, let's go over here. Wait, is that a- is that a police ship? Wait a minute, what's this? It is! Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Crusader Security. That's neat. Usually, so again, this is actually, this is an NPC. This is an NPC. Um, Attention, I have been authorized to scan your vehicle for security purposes. Yeah. Please hold your vehicle and stand by. Dang, dude. That's cool. So... Now, what would happen? So, remain stationary. They're going to scan you. This is, again, this is just random NPC interaction. If I were to leave, if I were to try and, like, fly away, he would hunt me down. And if I died, then he would, uh, he would actually send me to prison for, like, trying to escape the police. Um, I'm not worried because he's not going to find anything on this ship. But, if I had any of those, like, illegal drugs from Jump Town, or if I had anything that was considered, like, contraband... They would scan it, they would see it, and they would actually, like, pull me over, essentially. So, and you would go to prison! <laughs> I'm gonna wait and make sure. Usually they fly off when they're done. Maybe. If not, we'll just sit here and chat. But yes. <laughs> so, those little things, I think, are really cool. And there are some ships. There are some ships that have, um, like, shielded, uh, shielded cargo spaces. So, um... This might happen, and if you have stuff stored in, like, a smuggling compartment on your ship, 
the scan won't come up with anything. So th even those things are being built into the game too. Absolutely. Um, Waffle, spider boat, spider boat, doing whatever a spider boat does. Is that what this is about? <laughs> I'll have to find out. Dun, dun, dun. Um, context, Kadena. I'm eating dried banana chips. Some of them are hard and jab my gum. Oh, I hate those. I, I, I appreciate them for the taste, but sometimes they're a little bit too much. Is he ready for me to go? Um... Okay, this might be glitched. <laughs> as excited I was, as excited as I was for this NPC interaction, I think it's a. Uh... I can probably fix this too in a second. <laughs> uh, two years in actual playing, backer since 2014. Jeremy, nice. I would say um, I've backed it since 2016, but I've only started really playing it more recently uh, uh, when the mining came out, and I made a couple. I made a couple videos about it back in the day, but. Um, nothing really intense. I mean, this is this is my actual first time streaming it, um, as far as like gameplay is concerned. I think there's enough things in the now in, in the game now to keep it like somewhat interesting. So I've been enjoying it. That poison fungus from earlier, <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna like that. All right, I think this is actually broken. I'm I'm waiting for him to. Should I turn myself this way? Okay. He's done scanning, by the way. Sometimes it's quiet. All right. <laughs> He's following me. <laughs> you sure, Jeremy? <laughs> uh, he's he's like hunting me down, dude. <laughs> Wait, is he is he somebody I can communicate with? No, he doesn't come up as like a comable person. Okay, can I scan him? Ah, the tables are turned. Yeah, how about this one? I'm scanning you. How's that feel, <laughs> Crusader Security? <laughs> uh, let's see what you got here, Crusader Security. You've got a, mm, a Mantis Gatling gun, all right. You've got a, mm, a, de a decoy launcher. You've got a, you've got a snaggle stick. Excuse me, officer. Uh, could you explain what a, uh, could you explain what a snaggle stick original? What what is this? What is this? Hey, I wasn't done with you. Hey, get back here! He knows I he knows I found his snaggle stick. <laughs> okay, now he's done. All right, fine, he's done. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> what say you, snaggle stick man? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I have never seen that before. I'll have to go look that up. <laughs> I kind of want to know. What is, what say you, Crusader Security? <laughs> oh gosh, that's great. That's awesome. <laughs> Schnaggelstick, better than a Slim Jim. Oh my gosh, that sounds like an advertisement, Kadena. Uh, All right, I think it's on, okay. We'll figure out how to do this. Matt started off as our entertaining commander and has fully evolved into our captain, piling it around. He's growing up so fast. <laughs> In so many ways. Uh, Alright. Uh, hello? Whoa. Alright, it definitely popped for a second. Where do I gotta go? Over here? Alright, let's figure out what's going on here. Maybe I can't. Oh, that, that would rot. You can't quantum travel to that? All right, let's just go here. Oh man, it's gonna put us in the middle of nowhere. Shoot. <laughs> you embarrassed him by making fun of his snackle stick, exactly. When in doubt, get out of the seat. <laughs> when, out, when in doubt, dismount. That's usually what... Ugh. All right. Yeah, sometimes that can happen. That's right. I think it... Okay, yeah, that should be fine. 
Um, before we do this, before we go here, before we go down, because there's going to be, there's probably going to be some enemies like defending this and stuff. I'm going to take a quick break and uh, refill my water, and before we before we start again, and then we'll we'll try this Zolanine mission. This is not going to go well. I, I'm telling you already, this is not going to go well for multiple reasons, but I'll explain those when I get back. Just give me a quick second, and then we'll, I'll get some water, and then we'll get ready to go. All right, also, Zaki, welcome. The Aurora. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Zaki, do you have do you have bad experiences with an Aurora? <laughs> you can tell me about it. I'll be right back, guys. Dang it, Carlos, what are you doing? <laughs> Shh, no one tell him. <laughs> Thank you for the two, Carlos. I appreciate it. You're going to love the Matt birthday unboxing. That's true. That's true. Dang, man. Oh, is the server going to 30k? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we in a 30k situation? Hmm. Uh, it's just me. Your item's not showing up on center mass. Everything is broken. Um, I think the server is going to break. Uh, in that case... Hmm. So a 30k... A 30k happens when the server just... I, actually, I don't know really... I don't really know what the causes of it are, but it... I can still shoot. Other people are saying that something's broken. Um... I might just go I might just go down and wait a minute. That's a hundred that's on the other side of the planet. Okay, hang on a minute. Ugh. You can't actually quantum travel to this, so kinda hard. Sorry I've been lurking and having dinner, but is that Carlos I see? It is! <laughs> Hi Nemoras! Um Alright, this is on the other side of the planet. This is going to be this is going to be kind of hard to get to actually because there's no good uh, there's no good quantum travel spot. Dang it. <laughs> News after this break. <laughs> uh Zaki, yes, I immediately got rid of it. I upgraded to the Pisces. <laughs> You're like, "Nope, I ain't going to use this flying brick." The Aurora, okay, I've actually warmed up to it. I've actually warmed up to it. The Aurora isn't so bad to me. Use the map. Oh, so do like a Starlink thing? Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, that makes sense. So use the star map itself and then click on the contract. Come on, contract. Come on, contract. I've never actually, I've never actually done this. Whenever, the map usually breaks when I do it this close. Speaking of which. Does that work? Is that correct? <laughs> hmm. It does not. Hmm. It's close enough, though. 
We'll try it. We'll see if it works. Oh shoot, now it's nighttime too. Oh, this, this is not gonna be good. Mm, I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, good old Quang Drive. The auto route will show up to where to jump around the planet. Just click the location. It should... Alright, now that's broken too. Oh, Jeremy was saying something about spinning around. Like, literally spinning around, Jeremy? Like, literally doing a circle? I want to test that. Hmm. Carlos! I've had the privilege of knowing you peeps for a year. Holy crud. Time flies when you're <laughs> when you're being epic, in Carlos' case. No, it does not work. I probably just misunderstood him, but... Alright. Try it again. Figure out... See, this is what happens, is you get close enough. You get close enough, and it doesn't... Like, at some point... There we go. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Yep, there it goes. Come on, mission. Come on, mission. Eh. Double click the planet so it doesn't do that. Oh, there we go. Thank you. But it still doesn't give me... Hmm. It still doesn't necessarily give me that as a spot to pick, you know? Oh, we can go to Grimhex. <laughs> we can go to Grimhex. Woo! That's a... That is not where we want to go. Weird, dude. And it's not the H shelter. Bum, bum. Angel, you're on your other account, but hi. <laughs> hi, Angel. You got to jump close and then fly. That makes sense. Well, we're going to try that. Um, I'm going to try the other one. Because Utopia was not working for a second. Oh, we are really... We're really going to be in a tough spot. This is this is not a good idea. <laughs> Guys, this is not a good idea. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know what? I swear, at this point... I probably could have flown there by now. Let's try and do all this quantum travel shenanigans. Let's... Uh, complications. Let's go up to an orbital marker. Ugh. Um, oh, your work phone! Got it, got it, got it. Letting Ocean play some games on your actual phone. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Let's see what we can do here. So, uh, 200. That's on the other side of the planet. Let's try this, and then maybe go in slow. Who knows? But also, Angel, I hope you're doing okay today. Um, I hope things have been a good Thursday. Mm -hmm. This game's great. <laughs> welcome to... Welcome to not everything works as planned, but that's okay. In the seat, out the seat. And now we're over here. We're back exactly where we were before. I don't know. I might abandon this. I might abandon this simply because... Eh, you know what? Well, it's fine. So... Let's just take it. It'll take a minute. It's so weird not to see Angel's profile picture. I'm the lucky one. You peeps have nothing but positive support system. I really do mean it when I say I appreciate y'all's company. Whether you're whether you're hanging at lunch or whether you're at work or whatever you got going on, Carlos. I'm glad that even if you might be on the other the other coast, <laughs> that we can give you some friendship from coast to coast. It means the most that you you also spend your time hanging with us too, Carlos. Whether you're lurking, whether you're just having having some food, or whether we're in the background for you too. Bum, 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 da, da. Too low. I'm 600. Um, oh no, I'm not. I'm not going to go directly there, Jeremy. I, I've got to go over the horizon line. 
I've got to go above this for sure because it's on the it's on the other curve of the planet. I've had I've had a lot of run-ins with <laughs> I've had a lot of accidental run-ins with uh, mining because you see all these rocks that are all these rocks that are showing up. I've had a lot of uh, accidental bumps into mountain cliffs when I'm trying to find those. It'll take a little bit of fuel, but we'll go there. We'll get there. Um, I think this is... I also think this is... Man, I kind of wish that you guys could see... I guess you kind of can. Just... Uh, the beauty of this world building is so cool. I love this space. I know that different... Um, I know that different... Uh, you know, different games have... You know, like Elite Dangerous and all that stuff have different world generation. No Man's Sky, too. But just, like, man, dude. It's beautiful. There are markers on the corners of planets that you can warp to, one through four. Are those the orbital markers you're talking about, Zaki? Or, like, on the planet itself? I don't know about those, actually. What? What did I do? Did I hit? Did I hit a... What in Lauren's name did I hit? U is the button that is all systems off. I is engines. Uh-oh, someone's got a medical rescue. What's that about? Yeah, see, so that's what I'm talking about. Hang on, let me put this in cruise control. Um, should be okay. <laughs> should be all right. Uh, holy crud. Yeah, service beacons. So somebody is like 40... Yeah. Somebody's 42 million kilometers from me, but that was a that was a player that requested that was a player that requested a like beacon to be picked up. Bounty hunter, ECN alert again, investigation. All right, I'm gonna try and keep. Oh my gosh, it is so dark. Jeez. All right. Ba -da -da. You is flight ready, right? But I I something happened where I was trying to press F because something was wrong with my view and all of a sudden it just like just another a power off kind of thing i'm a merc mercenary zaki so do you do a lot of bunker missions then i'm doing the i'm doing the prolonide mission which is kind of a it's kind of a bunker mission in itself i suppose but i'm kind of playing this out i'm kind of playing this out to play it as if i was uh as if I was doing a, um, you know, bare bones minimum uh, first starting out the game. Like, I just have a pistol. I have a pistol and my Aurora. <laughs> so we're going to see how this goes. I don't have high hopes for this. I don't have high expectations for this. We're just going to try it out. Um, the ECN alerts were fine. I was able to take on some of the, most of the ships. Except for, oh, you know, the four constellations that showed up. Can't really take on those. <laughs> um... I was able to do the, the box deliveries in an Aurora. Had to toss the boxes up, but it's fine. They worked out. So we're going to try this one. It's probably going to go extremely poorly, but like I said, it's just for fun. You clear muscle motors with the pistol, dude? Yeah, do it. <laughs> Minimum investment, am I right? <laughs> and you get to... Oh, trust me. You get to loot. You get to loot all of the stuff that the, the people are in the bunkers. Holy crud. Wait a minute. What is this? This is all mining rocks, obviously, but I kind of just want to see, I kind of want to see what they're doing, what, what they got. Pull ourselves around a little bit. All right. Are these, what do we got here? It's quantanium. Quantanium have orange streaks in them, but... Uh, no, it's just aluminum and stuff. Okay, but there's just, like, a ton. There's just a ton of rocks. Alright, we're good. Back we go. Lights off. Use F1 and you'll drop whatever you're holding, so... Uh, you don't even gotta throw it. Oh, seriously? Oh, because you just reach up for your Moby Glass, right? 
That's how you get your armor. You don't even need to buy it. <laughs> exactly. Gosh, man. Since you're not a miner, it's going to be like all quiet. I know, Jeremy, that would happen to me. <laughs> I think some of my some of the hardest moments in this game have been when I've when I came across uh oh, I've had some I've had some bad mining experiences. Um I've learned I learned a lot of lessons. Man, look how gosh, look how beautiful this place is. Gosh dang it. Look at the rings too. It's oh, great. It's amazing. Um, let's see. One time, so you know how I said that I invited some people over and I was like, hey, do you guys yo, you guys want to try some some multi-crew mining? Um, and they were like, yeah, sure. Uh so I played it I played it safe. I played it safe. I was like, okay. Um I found like a nice uh 2% quantanium rock and said, all right, you know, it, it's not, it's not going to be too intense. You know, it's not going to blow up. And it was like, okay, like we got it. And it was fine. It was great. Um, they got the quantanium. They didn't blow up the rock. They didn't overcharge it. So it was fine. Um, but then I kid you not the next round that we did, we must've found it. It was 50%. It was a 50% quantanium rock and grouped up with like 36%. Like we, we could have gotten a full, a full moles worth of of quantanium and the guy blew the rock up sky high <laughs> and, and and then my ship the the mole didn't get destroyed so the ship didn't blow up uh but it did go into like severe damage state i lost my weapons i lost my engines my shields were still up but i couldn't move it was i was both glad that i got to go mining with them but also just Sag, man, just so sad. <laughs> it's like, gosh dang it. I was trying to, I was trying to use the, you know, trying to invite some people, trying to play around, but, ugh. That's alright. Tried. Tried to make it happen. <laughs> it was a fun experience. I still have them added on my friends list, too, so, I mean, it's cool. It's fine. Oh. Holy junk, dude! What in the world? <laughs> Who? Every... Everywhere I go, what the heck? I'm finding bigger and bigger... These are not Quantanium. There's no way. These are low-value rocks. They have to be. There's no way they would actually be Quantanium. Dude! There's at least... There's more... Is that Quantanium? No, that's just snow-covered, right? I mean... It's got gold and stuff. Gold is no good, but... Wow. This is just a... I'm just impressed with the size of this cluster. That's really what it is. There's no quantanium. Um, unfortunately, I will be honest, I'm really... I, I'm not upset. I just don't really like the fact that quantanium is really the only valuable mining commodity right now. But look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16! 16 rocks in a patch. I don't think I've ever seen a patch that big. Gosh dang. Alright, anyway. Um, okay, I'm going to take this a little bit higher because we're kind of in the... Oh, we're also at 4,000 meters. Alright, we're close. Alright, so let's see how this goes. Um... So for those that don't know what's going on, uh, there's two things that are going to happen here. A, I technically have to pick up some packages from this, uh, yeah, I have to pick up a couple of packages from this ship. Um, A, problem number one is my ship is not big enough, so we're going to, we're going to have to play this game of, uh, cramming these things in here. Problem number two is it's cold. I don't have, uh, I, I don't have the proper armor to be outside in the frigid cold. Uh, problem three is I have a pistol, and it's likely that there are some enemies in here. So, it, it's just a freelancer, so maybe not. But we'll find out. We'll find out. I guess maybe I could... If there were any enemies, I guess I could maybe... Anybody home? Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. My landing gear down? It's not. 
All right. We'll see how this goes. Again, I have I have very little, I have very low expectations for this, but we'll find out. We'll see how things go. All right. <laughs> Carlos, take care, buddy. You got to head out for now. Dun, 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 dun. All right, peeps. Back to the work I go. Hope you guys have a great time together. Thanks again for the support you always provide me with. I'm lucky to be able to call y'all friendos. And that feeling is mutual, Carlos. Catch you later, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging. Uh, also, Zaki, headed to Orison right now, so Gate say goodbye to my CPU and frames. Yeah, Orison right now, unfortunately, has a lot of cloud tech, and the cloud tech makes it so incredibly laggy that it's kind of difficult. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chat with you guys before I go outside, because gosh knows what's going to happen here. All right. Um... <laughs> You've gotten three in this little Aurora? All right, we'll see how I can do, Zaki. Um, I've only one friend, and that's Cobra TV, who I ran to at Port Orison. Oh, yeah, Kadena knows, Kadena knows uh, Cobra. I can't decide if I want to buy a thing. What are you What are you contemplating, Gurgit? What can we help you decide on? Do -do -do. Uh, randomly ran into him yesterday, chatted for a bit. Um, I thought he was cool, and he added me. He said he's got 3K people in his organization. Dang, so he's probably got... Can I... All right, if we need to, if we need to use this, we'll find out. Oh, there's a dude. Oh, he's got stuff on him too, okay. Let me play this carefully. I don't, maybe because it's a freelancer, maybe because it's a freelancer, it's not going to be a problem. Maybe there's not any guys. Um, also, as soon as I pick this up, the timer is going to start. Unfortunately, this is an unstable, uh, this is an unstable package, so I need to wait to pick everything up until I'm absolutely ready to go. There's minerals in here. What's in here? Wait, what's in here? All right, can I just... There's another thing, too. Wait, can I just cram my Aurora full of stuff? Oh, dang. Okay, hang on, hang on. Dude, okay, there's other stuff here. All right, I am going to... We're just gonna... This is cool. I've never actually... I've never actually been in this kind of position before. Um, I'm gonna check and make sure that we're all good. It seems like... It doesn't look like there's any people around right now we'll find out psst, psst. oh dnd oh also hi finn good morning i don't think i can open this yeah that's broken i doesn't seem like there's any enemies around here right now okay the real tippy hi tippy good morning um all right let me just make sure i don't okay it's also even though it's icy oh 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 something broke okay even though it's icy, it seems like I'm not at risk of uh, of freezing out here, so we should be okay. Um, it's a Legend of Zelda hoodie. It costs like 55 bucks before shipping. It's a Goron tunic. I mean, that's pretty cool because that's like like in-game relevant. That's neat. Um. Hmm. Roy, welcome back. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Uh, yes. Yep. Okay. Wait, morning. It's also 9 p.m. <laughs> Tippy. I always say good morning. <laughs> I always say good morning, no matter what time it is. <laughs> also, hey, dude. I hope you're doing okay. Oh, now it's getting cold. All right. Now, this is the question. Is it is it snowing now? I think it's actually snowing now, that's why. This will not let me search him. Thought I heard something. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Apex glasses? <gasps> what? Apex glasses? Unequip armor and suits. Oh, no, that's okay. I don't want that. Well, I mean, I could... No. All right, hang on a minute. Can I... Uh... 
What is this? What am I carrying? Grab. Alright. We're just going to bring this close to my ship, I guess. I don't think there's any... It doesn't seem like there's any enemies here, so... Alright, we're just going to drop these. Alright. I don't think I can... What's weird is that it says... It says search. Oh, boots? I'll take his boots. <laughs> I'll take his boots. <laughs> That's... <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> That's what this game is about, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I just I just want to I don't I don't want to strip search him I just want to search does he have anything take that as a no what about this dude can't really stay but it looks good without the box that you were <laughs> I was watching you in space earlier yeah there is a whole lot of really cool space things out here Finn it's a lot of fun uh I, can I just, can I not, oh shoot, I am frozen, actually I am frozen, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> okay, all right, I guess I'm just doing this, <laughs> this <is> terrible, <laughs> no, all right, drop this in here. All right, now it is actually legit getting cold. IFO Rogue, what's up? Might as well take everything you can. That's what I'm doing, just for the fun of it. And I'm freezing. Is this Venture Suit? There we go. All right, let's go search the, uh, let's go search this other thing. I don't, I don't think there's enemies here, but I also don't wanna be Oh, wow, the particle effects on this are taking a toll. Yeah, I don't think anybody survived the crash. No, I don't think anybody survived the crash. What's this? Okay. Uh, that's 100 meters away. I will... Hmm, we'll see. Aaron, what's up, dude? Aaron, are you heading to bed? Good night, dude. All right, these are just like regular suits and stuff. I don't really want to take people's clothes and all that. Um, it should be all right. Can I stand in my headlight and stay warm? <laughs> Is it warmer in my headlight? <laughs> Maybe. Hey, Carl, what's going on, man? Good to see you. All right, let's... Now, these things... I've never done this mission before, so I'm kind of curious. Like, can you sell these commodity boxes? We're going to try to. These aren't part of the mission, but they're here, so... Whoa. Was that the sound of this thing? I think that was the sound of the box. All right. Materials! All right, and this is... I think this is just scrap. Dang, I wish I had a bigger ship for this. <laughs> I wish I had a larger ship for this. <laughs> it's okay. This is the fun of this game. It, it's probably... I, I kid you not. It's probably going to blow up my ship, to be completely honest. But that'll be the fun part. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Man. I'm back in a bit. I gotta put the boys to sleep. Hugs until I get back. Yeah, Angel, no problem. We'll see in a little bit. Bum, bum, bum. No, for, no survivors from a crash. It's a brutal game. Watching Kirby Star Allies. That sounds cool. What is this? I don't know what this is, but we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out as it clamors around. All right. I I don't... I severe... I highly doubt... I highly doubt we'll be able to fit everything in here, unfortunately. Oh, hello. Materials... Especially in this silly Aurora. Right? Oh, my Aurora is starting to bounce around. It doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't like it. I don't think that's the wind. I think that's just... 
It's bouncing on the terrain. Uh, medical supplies? Alright, we'll find out. <laughs> this is great. Alright, I was kind of expecting... Um, it It said that there was a... It said that there was a, a freelancer. Oh yeah, this is medical supplies. Okay. Give me a drop. Alright, my, my ship does not like this. Adirond hit 6k subs when? Uh, maybe later this year? <laughs> I'm hoping so. Ultimately, it's not necessarily the sub count that's completely important. Is this part of the wreckage? Is this? I think it's just a rock. Yeah, these are just rocks. All right. All right, we'll go all the way out here. Let's see what's going on. Also, you're playing... Uh... Oh, you got it for your birthday yesterday. Well, happy late birthday. That's not fun. Along with Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey is a lot of fun. All right, I need to be careful. Anybody? Anybody here? Doesn't look like it. I don't think anybody survived this. Dang. But look at this wreckage, though. Dang. Is Hopebringer still here? I really can't watch, but I'll be hanging out in the background. No problem, Finn. Thank you. Sorry, this is like a super... It's a super immersive first-person game, but unfortunately it does not bode well for you, I know. Okay. I think we've confirmed that there is... <laughs> that is the front door. I think we've confirmed that there are no survivors. Besides these guys. But I'm not going to take all of their stuff. Okay, so no enemies at least, but... Dun, 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 dun. All right, I don't necessarily... Uh... What are these? Crab? What is this? I don't know, we'll find out. I do, I really wish I had a tractor tool now. If I had a tractor beam tool, that would make things a lot easier. Alas, I don't. That's okay. All right. Dun, dun. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about, but alas, I cannot see, <laughs> or I cannot watch. <laughs> it's okay. I'll give you the. I'll give you the the live recap, Ash. We are transporting uh, highly volatile materials. However, I'm taking it upon myself to move. Some of the other materials that I didn't need to take, but I'm going to anyway, just because it'll be fun. I actually think I don't think... I, I really don't think I'll be able to fit any of this in. It'll be a challenge. It'll be a challenge just to get the, the mission items in here. So let's try this. Alright. Um, I mean... Alright, let's just, let's just try it. Let's just give it a shot. <laughs> I'm, I'm tripping over other boxes. I really, I really need a, uh, a tractor beam tool. That would have been very helpful with this. I'll grab that next time. Uh, can I fit it up here? Um. <laughs> My ship is not going to like this. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to give it... Uh, I'm trying to place it... <laughs> Somehow it, it attached to the geometry of the ship for a second. Can I place it? <laughs> Good, you can place it up here. Excellent. <laughs> oh, okay, I just jump in. That's fine. Can I put it in my bed? <gasps> Wait, can I shove it in the bed space? Clunk, clunk, clunk. 
Oh dang, <laughs> it's gone. Well, <laughs> oh, it fell out of my ship. Dang, isn't there a way to throw it? <laughs> uh, I think there is a way to throw it, but I think you have to like, you have to place and then you have to, can you scroll wheel or something like that? I don't know. I've never I've never done that before. <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of hmm. Yeah, I don't think the uh, I don't think the game likes that. I don't I don't think it likes me trying to put in the bed space. Let's just put it in here. All right, that sh that should be fine. <laughs> what just happened? Uh Finn, I tried to put a, uh, I tried to put an object in my ship, and ended up, I, I tried to shove it in my bunk, and it definitely just clipped, it bounced around a couple times, and then clipped through the, clipped through the ship in the bottom. And it is, it is making, like, little, oh, whoa. What? Oh. Is it on top? No, are you for real? Okay, we got the throw. We <laughs> oh, okay, it landed it landed in there. It, it definitely it definitely was above the ship for a hot second. All right, let's try this again. All right. All right, so we're going to we're going to place and then we're going to aim up. It did something. I don't know how I did this earlier. It just kind of... It just kind of gave me the option all of a sudden if I if I aimed my cursor in the right direction. You should still be able to enter the ship while holding boxes using the ladder. Um, I've never done these kinds of things before, so I've... We are exploring new territory. I mean, you could just... I can just jump into the ship too, but that doesn't always work. Oh, these man the collisions with these things is like bouncy balls dude this this is not <laughs> this is not gonna go well <laughs> this is not gonna go well some my ship is going to explode something bad is gonna happen <laughs> when i try and take off all right i'm just gonna take i'm just gonna take the minerals i'm gonna take the minerals and i'm gonna try and take the objective items and that's it i don't think i can fit the other ones because they, I don't know, it, it had some sort of like, hmm, earlier it was working. Okay. Now, can I, ooh. I wish I could, if I could place them like, if I could stack them nicely, but it really isn't letting me do that. Ah, maybe, hang on. Bongo. <laughs> the box the box fought back for a second. It always said you were eating boxes. I am, I closed her. Yeah, they're they're not very happy about they're not very happy with each other. <laughs> they're just I don't know. They something Sorry, guys. Something is just, to me, so entertaining about these being, like, in inanimate objects that have, like, a violent personality all of a sudden. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Let's try and stack these. Okay. Alright, this is, this is, this is progress. That, that's not progress. <laughs> Whatever you did to the boxes, they're done. All right, we're gonna... They are not having a good time. All right, we're just gonna try and do the actual, like, mission objective things. I can hear them clanking around in my ship. <laughs> oh, no. Also, Aaron, yes, I think I got your question about um, the... 
I can add, I can add your, I can add your friend. Um, Aaron, can I, can I take care of that in, oh shoot. Oh, what? What? Wait, are these players? I think these are players, dude. Dude, somebody's attacking my stuff. What? These are players, I'm pretty sure. Whoa. Yeah, dude. Nobody just comes in here with a vanguard. Oh, shoot. Alright. Well, this just got real. Dang, dude. That happened to me a little while ago. Are those, like, are those pirates? There's no way. Pirates don't come in with, like, vanguards and stuff. What? Was I sitting here for too long? Oh, now I'm stuck. Great. Dude. Maybe they are pirates. Oops. Well, there goes our party. There goes our fun. Are they pirates, though? Tom's call for help. <laughs> yeah, I think those might be... Yeah, because who just... Nobody just... I'm not doing anything. Like, nobody just comes out here and finds me. Yeah, and he's, like, guarding the door, too. Are they waiting for me to come out? I don't think I can shoot a... Uh... I can't shoot somebody out of the, out of the pilot seat like that. Dang, dude. All right, well. This was interesting. <laughs> Best player's griefing you? Yeah. I'm dealing with, like, some people. Holy crud. Yeah, they'll get bored and leave. Dude, that's nuts. So, I get it. Like, immersive gameplay type stuff, sure. But nope, he's still chilling there. Well, there's the only thing to do is fight them. <laughs> Weird. Hmm. I have no clue what this game is. <laughs> so shove some lore down my throat. Well. Tippy, we are, uh, I was just going to play this game and be like a beginner and see how things went if I just, you know, tried with a basic ship and stuff. So if we, uh, so we were, we were doing this pickup mission and that I'm sitting in a stranded, um, a stranded destroyed derelict ship that had some, that had some volatile cargo and the volatile cargo I was supposed to try and, you know, cram it into my little beginner ship, but all of a sudden, I was trying to do that, and and typically, typically this mission will actually have some some enemy NPCs, so it'll have enemy like enemy computers that you might shoot, right? But it just so happens that I'm hanging here, and then all of a sudden, some people who we assume are are players are just have now come to blow up my ship and uh yeah so i'm i'm wondering if they're gonna leave or if they're gonna i don't hear anybody it was a cutlass it was a cutlass and a saber raven no not a, not a raven just a regular saber and the saber is the... Or is it a vanguard? I think it's a vanguard. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway. Blow up their ship. <laughs> I have a pistol. <laughs> I ain't gonna do nothing. 
I came in here with kind of like a, hey, can I get away with like minimum, you know, minimum materials and stuff. Did it work? Uh, no, they're still there. I don't have a ship anymore, so I'm kind of just, even if I, even if I don't, even if they do leave, what's going to happen? I'm going to have to call somebody to pick me up. Make a rescue mission, call for help. That'd be kind of fun. Let me see what happens. Hmm. All right, let's do it. I've never, I've never actually tried that before. So, uh, what do you gotta do? Contracts manager, and beacons, and then create a beacon. Uh, beacon type is uh, <laughs> medical assistance. I don't know. Destination. Any rep level? I don't know. Enter value. Uh, yeah, sure. Come pay me. I don't know. Twenty k. Why not? I don't really care. I kind of want to see how this goes. So, I'm going to pay somebody 20000 I kind of left it high so that... Just to see what happened. Um, I'll pay somebody twenty k if they come out and rescue me. But... A. They're going to pick me up. But B... That ship is just sitting there. It's kind of... Should I go outside? Earth is looking a little bit different. What timeline is this? Myung! <laughs> Hi, Myung! Uh, this isn't a... I heard something. Yep. I hear something. Uh... I don't have a crime stat. I don't have a crime stat. Probably you're... <laughs> probably waiting on your rescue and Yeah. Honestly, okay, the, the the saber left. They're probably outside. Oh, yeah. oh, he's way up in there. Whoa, they just took out whatever that was. Dang, dude. All right. I don't know what that is. Dude, he's shooting at something. There's another ship right there. Okay. I know it's hard to see this because it's really dark out, but... They're shooting at something. Dude. Whoa. They're hitting something. There it goes. Dang. AOA multitasking gone wrong? What's going on? Somebody... Okay, there's two ships left. And they are attacking each other. Whoa. They should have a crime set if it's a player. Right. Well, we're going to find out what's going on. Well, if they're a bounty hunter, though. <gasps> Sora! Hello! They just destroyed that ship, too. Okay, so there's the last ship. I think. There he goes. He's like, he's the dark shadow compared to... No. He's hitting something else now. I don't want to get hit if that's the case. Hi, Sora, we're playing Spaceman game. <laughs> we're a spaceman on Grand Adventures and we're actually getting saved. <laughs> we're getting rescued, technically. <laughs> Uh, there's the cutlass, actually. Okay. So there's... There's the cutlass that was attacking me earlier. Oop. Dang, dude. Yeah, it's a fight for 20k now. <laughs> AoE is about five steps away from throwing us into Eden, likely. <laughs> is she your group leader? Oh, no. <laughs> What is that? I think that... Dang, dude. Alright, so he just took out the Cutlass. That was a saber. I need to sleep, but I'm doing my nightly rounds. Good night, Sora! <laughs> Thank you so much, friendo. And I hope that you have a good night, too. Alright, I think... I think Saber Dude is... Uh, I think Saber Dude is... Uh, 
think Saber Dude is waiting to... A Saber doesn't have an extra seat anyway, so... There's not much that we can do here. And I'm not getting a party invite from anybody, so... This is interesting. Okay. Well. Back to where we were before. I don't know... I hear another ship. So was the saber was the saber the one that originally aggressed me? Shouldn't do this while I'm standing outside. Oh, hang on. Oh wait. Never mind. It's just particles. Okay, this this is strange. <laughs> this is kind of weird. But you know what? This is this is this game. All right. Beacons. I don't hear anything. Um, Waffle can add people too. That's right. That's right, Aaron. I'll, I'll take care of it once I'm done streaming. I'll probably wrap up after we figure out what to do here. Um... So technically there is an easy way out of this, but I kind of want to see where this goes. The easy way would just be to technically log out, log in. But... Hmm. All right. That was weird. Is... Was Jump Town? Wait a minute. Is Jump Town going on at Yella? Gonna run! Hi, Connie. <laughs> no, it's on Lyria right now. Okay, so all of the all of the Jump Town stuff is on Lyria, so I'm not as concerned. All right, we're gonna ask for chat. Anyone? <laughs> backspace rogue? No, I don't want to just backspace. It would be the easy way out. <laughs> that would be the easy way out. Backspace is just basically suiciding and respawning. That was really strange, dude. I've never... So... Those of you who have played these missions before, do you know if that was... I suppose those are just players being rude. That's crazy. Hmm. And I put out a beacon, and nobody's here, so we might just have to... Not hear anything either. Kami, I've been mega lurking, but want to say all the care before I head out. <gasps> Good night, Kami. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for lurking in the background. Um, I know Star Citizen isn't, isn't the uh, isn't the fast fast paced uh, usual games that we play but i'm glad that you're able to lurk and hang with us thanks for thanks for providing us your company even in the background and hope that you have a good night too all right um i might just uh all right nobody's responding so i'm just gonna whoop <laughs> whoop and we'll see what happens Theoretically, I think I'll just get put back on Orison, but we'll see. Or we'll get put back at crew. Either one. Um, because in this game, in this game, you have to you have to wake up and save and respawn at a at a bed. So there was a bed in my ship, but 
not a bed anywhere. Like, obviously, the ship got destroyed, so. You also can't sleep in the beds in the derelict ship, unfortunately. <laughs> My power went out for the past hour. Welcome back, Andrina. Hi. I'm glad that you're... I hope that you're safe. I hope that the power outage was just a, a, just a fluke and not anything at risk. Also, Joey! Hey, buddy! Pet those cats! <laughs> hmm. You know, there is... I'm pretty sure there's a Twitter handle of somebody who literally goes around and looks at video games and rates them based on whether you can pet the dog, right? Isn't it, like, at pet the dog or something like that? I believe. But... <laughs> hey, Joey. All right, we kind of took the... So, we kind of took the, the easy way out. The cheap way out. We, uh... <laughs> I logged out, logged back in, and now we are at... Did it say we're at crew L1? Are we at crew? Let's find out. Yes, we're at crew because this is the last, this was the last space station that I went to. All right, so, um, all right. So I've got about, hmm. We could, let's see. People are asking if uh, people are asking if Jump Town is safe. Should we go? Should we go try Jump Town? <laughs> I kind of want to. Yeah, I kind of want to try it. We'll see. How many people are How many people are on the server? That's the other question. Forty two out of forty three. Okay. I could try it. Um, it might take me... Uh, Alright, it might take me a little bit longer, though. We'll see. Let's see what we can do. Power outage happened kind of the same time after the new year. Since there's no reason for it. <laughs> okay, so it's not anything It's not anything dangerous, Andrina. It's just I have a little bit of power outage. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad you're safe. Um, cool, and we kept the stuff... We kept that stuff from earlier. I think I want to... I do think I want to grab a... Uh, I want to grab a multi-tool, though. Because I kind of wish I had a multi-tool earlier, and I really... I need one now. <sighs> Physically realized elevators means you actually have to wait for them to go through. But that's fine. Me and Gloucester are having so much fun bullying my multitasking skills. <laughs> anyway, how many different things are you multitasking? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. <laughs> so, Cora stepped on my phone and actually sent the stream back a couple hours, so I thought Jenna was in chat. <laughs> oh no. Jenna was here earlier, though. She said hello. Yes, I'm safe. Don't worry. Thank you for worrying. Okay, no problem. Glad you're okay. Um, all right, so I think, let's see, with the contracts that we have right now, I kind of want to, yeah, I kind of want to just try Jump Town. I want to go see, I want to go see what just, just what happens. Again, if we get, if we get blown out of the sky, so be it, whatever. But if we, uh, if we end up getting some stuff, then that's fine. All right, let's grab some stuff. Um, I need a tractor beam and a multi-tool. Okay, there we go. All right. And this. Let's set this up. There we go. All right, and then my battery needs to go. I need a backpack? There we go. All right, got it. Sweet. That's all I need. Sounds fun. We're just going to try it, Zaki. We're going to see what happens. <laughs> I have no idea. Management just wanted to make a general announcement to check your bow sensors. We've been the noticing leaks in processes. The immersive environment is so cool. Like, even the announcements over the loudspeaker and stuff. So neat. This is similar to No Man's Sky. Yes, AOA. So No Man's Sky is a little bit more... Uh, I think the worlds are a lot more... Um, it's more focused on exploration. 
So No Man's Sky kind of is, it touts like these really like brilliant worlds that are um, procedurally generated that come with like uh, new things every time you go to them and every planet is unique and there's like different elements and resources and different animals and um, there's like hundreds and billions and millions of planets, right? Whereas Star Citizen, although they're planning on expanding, we have one solar system. One solar system with four planets and some moons around those planets, obviously. And they're actually, hopefully by the end of this year, we're going to get the next solar system that they have planned. It's called Pyro. Um, so we're hoping to get Pyro in the next, in hopefully the upcoming year. Um, but the way that I like to play, the, I, I like to play this game as a, uh, like just enjoying the alpha experience. Um, right now it's not, uh, let's see. I'm just going to bring my, I'm going to bring my silly little Aurora. I'll pay the fee. It's fine. All right. I think I might've lost my weapons though. We'll find out. I think I might have lost my weapons. That's all right. Uh, because this game is in alpha. It's not a fully released game. Why is it taking them, you know, years and years and years and years and years to get it out? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. They have big plans for this. Um, they're trying to make this, you know, extremely detailed down to the level of, like, you have, you even have um, hunger and thirst and you know different different things like sleep and all those things um super super detailed game is it worth the hassle is it worth the wait well we'll find out <laughs> but this game is all just about a, a deep sim deep space sim experience i do like no man's sky though i have not streamed it i haven't i haven't done anything with it on the channel here uh no i didn't lose my weapons i still have them okay good just making sure I haven't done anything with the channel for No Man's Sky, but I have played it myself, and I really enjoy it. I'll probably stream it one of these days. It's a fun game. Like it, it is that it really feeds that uh, that need for exploration and finding and finding things and, and traveling around. Ooh. Also, Roy, have a good night, buddy. Thanks for hanging with us. All right, let's just let's just go to Jump Town. See what happens. Impressive. <laughs> Danny, hi! I just got home from work not too long ago. Hey, welcome back, Danny. I hope that you've had a, a good shift at work. I know you're telling us about it uh, the other day. Well, things went well today. And also, um, I've been asking people, do you have off for Martin Luther King Monday? Um, do you have a three-day weekend for yourself? I hope that you have. I hope you can get some good rest if that's the case. All right, now this is going to take us a little bit longer because now we're traveling. Before, we were we were literally just traveling between these two stations um crusader and crew l1 now we're headed we're heading basically across the galaxy <laughs> we're heading we're heading way out so boop, boop, boop. map is weird Ugh. hello why does the map do this yeah we're heading all the way out here so Again, it's this is all fully realized within real time. So, I am actually traveling through, like real game space. We're actually like moving, quantum traveling all the way over here. It takes a while, but it's still fun. We have to take this to Daymar too, which I'm pretty sure is over in Hurston. Ugh. No Man's Sky is more cartoony and a lot more... Like, building. That's true, too, Zaki. I think, eventually, uh, Star Citizen wants to get to a point where they have, um, like, build... Like, you can do building and stuff and build bases. Um, they just haven't... They haven't incorporated it yet. There's a ship, like, dedicated to that. It's called the Pioneer. Kato's asleep, so I'm back to watch. Welcome back, Angel. Hi. Um, we've been... 
Angel, we've been trying out a few different things. I'm just kind of, I was just kind of poking around at some of the beginner missions. Uh, if I didn't introduce this game, this game is Star Citizen. Um, it's a really intense, really immersive uh, space simulator. Um, it's currently in alpha state, so it's not fully released yet. They're adding a lot of things. Um, and there's still, even if it's in an alpha state, there's still a lot of things to do. Uh, so today we've done a couple different things, like we've uh, delivered some packages, we've taken out some pirates. Uh, we tried to do another another delivery mission, but ended up getting attacked. I'm still not sure whether we were attacked by players or pirates, but anyway. Um, the last thing I'm going to do tonight before I sign off is uh, I'm going to participate in the... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to participate in this event. Uh, the event is started by the game, but it's kind of... It, what happens after that, we're not sure. It What happens after that is completely up to the players. Um... Basically, I'm going to a facil facility where it will spawn uh, illegal drugs, <laughs> and we have been we have been given a mission to confiscate those drugs and take them to a secure location. But and you can you can confiscate them for a really really like a really really high price. But now, if you have 40 players in a server, if you have 40 players in a server, what do you do? Do you, do you let everybody, like, just work together and everybody gets to take a box? Or do you have an organization of, like, of, like, five guys or ten guys and they just, they just take everything and they lock down the area as things are being released and they take all the profit for themselves, shooting down any other players of the server that try and come in? So it's a, it's what's called kind of a, an emergent experience, meaning that the experience isn't from the restrictions of the mission itself. The experience is what emerges out of that. Like, what happens when players are given a choice of what to do. This event's been going on for a couple of weeks. I've been part of multiple different scenarios. Uh, in one scenario, um, Jumptown was, was friendly. Everybody was like, hey, we're all, we're all pals here. We're all just trying to make money. <laughs> we're not going to kill anybody. We just want to make some cash. So everybody worked together to pull the drugs and, and bring them to the secure location safely. But there have been other instances where I've gone in and immediately just get blown out of the sky. <laughs> Some group of people has got it locked down. You end up getting attacked. And yeah, so it could, anything could happen. Um, sometimes they've had organizations where you lock stuff down, but they'll just let a player in for no reason. They're just like, okay, sure, why not? So we'll see what happens. I'm also at 50% quantum fuel, which is uh, not good. I might have to refuel before I even... <laughs> I might have to refuel before I even get there. Um, that should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. We're almost there. Yeah, we're almost there. Also, X-Cross. What's up, dude? I'm a newbie, and I rented a Cutlass uh, and a Cyclone four-wheeler. I'm having a blast just traveling different planets and driving around. Yeah, dude! That's awesome! Uh, and I just tried it. I was the fifth in the conga line, so they just shot me. <laughs> See? But that's that's kind of just what happens, Cross, right? It's like, you you don't know. Sometimes people go in, and they're they're friendly to a point, and then they'll just say, oh, well, there's too many people here, and they'll take somebody out. But I don't know. I'm... To me, personally, I think there's a hundred different ways that you could make money in this game. You could go mining. You could go trading. You could do missions. You could do bounty hunting. Like, yes, you can do all those things. But this... Yes, there are some credits involved, but it's like once in a while one it's a once in a while thing and it's a kind of a, a player focused event so i just i just do it for the game experience like to see what happens but everybody in chat is saying that jump town is safe i don't know i don't know sometimes people have said that it's safe and then it's not <laughs> and then it's terrible you end up getting shot out as soon as you come down i should be okay with quantum fuel i'll just uh oh wait a minute the production facility is over there. Oh, that's the drop-off. Okay, I got it. Makes sense. But yeah, I used to cross... I used to rent a Cutlass um, to do a lot of mining stuff. So I would I would do all of my mining, and then after all the refinery stuff was finished... Uh, can I go over there? After all the refinery stuff was finished, I would use a Cutlass to go, um, to go transport it over to... Uh, transport it over to a shipping spot so I could trade it out. Alright, let's go to Lyria and see what happens. 
It's totally safe. You're not gonna get shot or anything. <laughs> no, that's what'll happen. It's kind of this... It's kind of this, like, mind... It's this mind game of... It's this mind game of, like, okay, is it is it real people who are, like, being honest? Or is it just a group of, a group of bloodthirsty pirates who are there who are just wanting to blow your ship to smithereens as soon as you land? You never know. You never know. But that's why it's kind of fun. That's why it's cool. And who knows? There could be somebody, you know, like, controlling this space as soon as we land. You never know. <gasps> Hello, Jesse. Welcome back. <laughs> Good to see you. All right. We're going to see how this goes. I hate it when it doesn't work. Come on, quantum travel. You can do it. Alright. Production facility. 2,000 meters. Um, I wonder if this is going to be another thing where I have to... Uh, eh, it's not too far. That's fine. There's no way to quantum... Oh, is there? Oh, yeah, there... Uh, that's the drop-off. Where's the production? There it is. I think this is another one where we have to... Ah, shoot. This is always a problem. Can I... Why can't I... Let's go to... Alright. Let's go to this marker and see what we can do. Teddy's Playhouse. That does not sound good. <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> Somebody in chat, in the game chat, has asked, Can you show me the ropes on, jo on Jump Town? Yes. They said, grab a box, bring it to your ship, <laughs> don't, don't die. <laughs> yeah. And survive. It's like, great. I think we're still... This might be... This might be taking me a little bit too long. Cause I have to go at I have to go at midnight. Yeah, well we'll we'll get there. We'll be right. But yeah, I mean this game is beautiful. If you, if you ever had any doubts, like, I just, I also love the planetary tech and how it looks. It's just an incredibly built game. Unfortunately, it just doesn't have all the features that we need right now, or that people want. Alright. So we are literally, right now we are literally traversing traversing a planet to get to where we need to go. I don't know if I've just done something wrong where I can't uh, quantum travel to there, but it's fine. We're making good time. Uh, and are you planning on doing the side stuff in Horizon Zero Dawn after the DLC? Probably not the side stuff, Jesse, just because there's a lot um, there's a lot of other things that I, that I need to get running, <laughs> game-wise. Um, but I will be doing the DLC, so once we get the DLC finished um, I'll be happy about that. But, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go through and do all the side quest stuff. Now, I also kind of want to... I want to test something. Um, technically, uh, somebody said that there are... When you look for uh, rocks, like mining rocks on this planet, or this moon, I should say, that 
they will be the highest they'll have quantanium which is the highest value uh, highest value material you can find as long as you find a cluster I want to see if that's right I'm gonna go it's getting late for me no worries Haley thank you for lurking and chilling hope you have a good night um, I don't know when I'll be streaming next uh, at the very least it'll be next Monday we'll see but I will I'll let you guys know all right we're getting some plan we're getting some ships coming into view now So at this point, yeah, there's a lot of ships coming. So at this point, are those ships friendly? There's a ship just lurking there on the ground. Is he there to shoot us down? Who knows? But... He was back there. There he is. There's his ship. A little black speck. I don't know. I should play it eventually, it's fun. Like all the side quest things. Alright. <laughs> Look at all these ships here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh jeez. Alright, let's see how this goes. Look at this, it's like a party! <laughs> and I haven't gotten shot down yet, so we'll see. taken off so that's fine dude okay all right at the very wow 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 all right at the very least at the very least guys this will be so cool just to I, I would just love for you guys to see this wow okay we're gonna park our Ooh. why is my ship floating whoa what was that like purple text why is my ship sliding? I'm not on cruise control or anything. Weird. What's going on with my ship? I don't know. Okay, engine's off. Engine's off. Dude, we've got some really... Wow, we've got some really cool ships here, actually. So, if anything... If anything, this isn't just for the experience of Jump Town, but, uh, all right, so Finn, I've just landed my teeny tiny little inky pinky ship, um, here. Actually, I can send you, how about I do this? I'll send you a screenshot of it. Uh, actually, I don't know if that's gonna work. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. Well, anyway, we'll try it. Sending a screenshot for Finn. Sophie, what's up? Wait, Sophie, are you, are you available for things? Because, uh, it's okay, I can look. Okay, I'm not moving. I'm not moving, Finn, so you can you can take a, take a look and see. Um, we're at a drug lab. <laughs> Woo, we're at a drug lab. <laughs> but this is technically like a, this is a in-game event. And I'm just kind of here to, I'm just kind of here to, to experience it and like see what happens. But I'm super excited because there's some really cool ships that I get to show off here too. Um, but uh, right now, it seems like everybody's probably just grabbing stuff. I might grab a box or two. I can't hang around for too long because I do have to go, but I'll grab a few boxes. I hear somebody is flying in. I hear somebody's landing. Yeah, and people are people are giving the rules in chat. So again, so this is an interesting moment where people are being cooperative and they're like, "Yep, don't be a don't be a jerk. Just grab a box and everything's cool." Exit left. All right. Also, Sophie. Sophie, are you? Uh, do you have any turnips in Animal Crossing by chance? I only ask because I have no idea what's happening. But I stopped and say hello. Hi. <laughs> Am I getting blown by the wind? I think it must have been ice or something like that. I don't know. Also, fan. I can play in third person if you wish, for a little bit. Yeah, I'm sliding on something. This is weird. Uh. Wow, but dude, look at these. Okay, people have got some really, some really cool ships. This is really neat. 
So this, this is an Ares Ion. This is a size seven gun. Uh, it, massive. This actually has created a little bit of tension in the community. The, ten the community is a little upset about this, but I'll, that's neither here nor there. This guy has a Reliant Core. This thing actually, uh, so this ship um, is horizontal right now, but he can actually take off and it, it, it rotates and goes vertical like a Boba Fett. And you can see he's got like six, <laughs> he's got like six or seven boxes of drugs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, and this... This is a uh, Esperia Prowler. Um, this is actually a drop ship. Look at all the drugs in there. <laughs> People are just throwing boxes. You can third person, but Finn, I have no uh, I have no UI right now. I think the floor might be frozen. You're probably right, Andrina. Um, I have no UI. So like if I were to if I were to manipulate anything, it wouldn't work. Um, this is a Cutlass Black. We actually fought one of these earlier. I love the Cutlass. It's just an iconic ship. Um, it's usually a uh, favorite of pirate ships, actually. Um, this monstrosity over here. This is a... Is this a C2 or is this an A2? This is black paint. This is an M2. So this is a military... This is a military cargo bomber ship. I think. It, oh. Am I getting hit? Somebody shot me. Alright. Well, that's not cool. Alright. All right, we're going to heal. Um, no milk. Trying to get the ships. All right, well, good thing I didn't die. People didn't, uh, apparently people didn't like me uh, just poking around um this is a freelancer max so this one is like another cargo ship they said someone was looking suspicious by my ship yes exactly somebody shot me i don't know who uh, can i put this down can i do it again i'm just gonna drop this no nope, that's all i have all right already getting fired out you just want the drugs i know i just want to look at ships that's all see Apparently, you gotta act like the rest of the people. Alright, so I'll show you guys what the actual event is. There's a bunch of clanking around. Do I have my multi tool? I do. I don't know what all the noise is going on for. <laughs> Alright, good thing I had a good thing I had a med gun or a med or med pen, or I would have died. Best not to loiter around, it seems so. Apparently people don't like that. Oh, people are using the VoIP, too. <laughs> what is that sound? I think it's the items. Oh, yeah, see, this is... <laughs> so this is what happens. This is what we... This is what's called a conga line. <laughs> you basically just get in line for the drugs. <laughs> That's it. Again, let me reiterate that it could have been anything. It could have been drugs, it could have been stuffed animals, <laughs> it could have been plush toys, it could have been carrots, but the event is just built off of illegal drugs. We're not using them, we're actually confiscating them. <laughs> I don't know. I also don't know what this sound is. Something... But something is making a lot of noise. <laughs> Gosh dang it. What happens if you die? Uh, I lose my ship, I lose my stuff, and I go back to spawn. Now, of course, I can, I can reclaim. I can, uh, if my ship explodes, like earlier, you, you have insurance. You have insurance on your ship, so the insurance allows, the insurance allows you to re reclaim it. Let's find out! <laughs> I never thought I'd use your drugs so many times! Okay, but it's just, okay, it's just the happy things, all right? Happy stuff. Joins in game just to pull out a sniper run. No, I've already been, I've already had that happen. <laughs> all right, let's grab our stuff. <laughs> we got our undisclosed, very, very not suspicious package of brown stuff. <laughs> all right, and we're gonna open this. 
See, this is the thing. I guess when people when people see you being suspicious, like loitering around, they shoot at you. Yeah, someone just ran up to my ship and shot me. Uh-oh. Well, we'll find out if I make this out alive. Alright, guys, so the question is... The question is... How many do we do? Alright, here's my Aurora. Somebody else has an Aurora. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, and I think this ground is really slippery. They brought the drugs to my house. <laughs> Drawing to it. Uh, a gun has been drawn. Alright. Interesting. Yeah, I'm on an ice... I'm on, like, an ice patch. Ugh. All right, this is a terrible place to park. But that's why we have the multi-tool. Wait a minute. Hang on. Oop. There we go. <laughs> Just gonna bring this out here. Put it uh, over there. All right, there we go. Come on. Uh-oh, somebody is... Somebody's shooting. All right. All right, gamers. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this is where we say sayonara. Open the door. Get your drunk. <laughs> Go. I'm right, just going to carry this inside. Uh, ah, I made it. All right. <laughs> yep. All right. Now we're... Now people are spaghetti. I do have to go. Good night, Angel. <laughs> get them drugs and don't let them get you. <laughs> Good night, Angel. Take care. Oh, shoot, man. Oh, I'm dead. I'm going to... Oh, I got knocked down. I didn't die. I just got knocked down. Oh. I... Dang it! <laughs> I can't get up, man. This stupid ice field. All right. All right, let's, we gotta figure out, all right, we gotta figure out a way to get back to my ship. And make it out alive. Time to dip, I know, but. All right, let's, come on, let's get off the ice patch. Ugh! Come on! <laughs> hey, we can make it out. Come on, enter ship. There we go. Alright, that's step one. Um, bring this safely inside. And I'm gonna store this. Close door. Alright, the question is, can we make it out alive? Are they, is, are they just like guarding, are they guarding the takeoff zone? Because I don't think I can outrun anybody. There's a guy over here. All right, everybody cleared out real fast. Oh, there's the cutlass again. Is he scanning for people? You got one drug. Listen, man. My engines are on. Engines off. All right. Chewy, hit hyperdrive. We're about to. All right, that Asperia Prowler is back. I don't think that... What's going on? What are they looking at? Um... So, I wonder if part of the explosions, I wonder if part of the explosions were, um, they were saying to blow up a ship because somebody died and they wanted to reclaim that ship. I don't know if maybe that's why. Well, I'm not going to stick around to find out. <laughs> hey, Starlo. Dang. All right, well, we'll see how this goes. Let's 
get ourselves back. All right, let's get ourselves back to. It's off. All right, punch it. <laughs> Go. All right, so now we got to drop off. We got to drop it off at um, our cork. All right. So then we got to quantum travel. Drop off is over there, but that's. See, and this is the thing. Uh, he was saying that he was just shooting at some guy, like, s shooting at a guy who stole someone's ship. And so you never know. It's like, are they telling the truth? Are they, what are they, what are they doing? Dang, man. You never know. And that's the thing. Like, there's no rules. There's nothing, like, keeping those things in place. So what do you do? <laughs> And they're just like, well, okay. Sorry, sorry. All right, let's get this dropped off. You... Oh, come on, I can't just do that? Ugh. All right, fine. So, usually, what would I do? Would I have stuck around longer? Um, maybe. I mean, there were shots fired. I was already shot at once. I'm at, I'm at half health, <laughs> as it is. Um... Is this the right spot? Doesn't look right. Uh, I need to go to a little marker. Kadoke. Is your person still bleeding? No, I had a, fortunately I had a med pen. So a med pen just gives you like a quick, quick boost of health. So I was able to stop the bleeding, but if I had gotten shot earlier and I didn't have a med pen, I would have bled out and died. So that's part of being prepared too. Also, I know I know not to be on that that spot anymore. All right. All right. So now we're just gonna um, we're gonna drop this off. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go in a little bit, but I'll have to go also after I do this. But guys, this was this was cool. I'm glad we I'm glad we gave that a shot. Cool things, you never know what's gonna happen. Thank you. And please visit again. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Sometimes sometimes the landing pads why do I have a radar lock? Somebody shooting missiles? Oh, you know what? I bet I just shot a flare. Because I don't wanna be I wonder if people are guarding. I wonder if people are guarding this. See, that's a that's a freelancer, I think. Yeah, someone's trying to lock a, to someone's trying to lock a missile on me, <laughs> and that's a player. Like nobody else would be doing that. Um. Yep. I wonder if they're trying to like launch missiles from a long distance away to try and like attack somebody's ship at a distance bef because they know that people are landing with uh, contraband, you know? That would be that would be rude, but I would not be surprised. Landing gear deployed. All right. So Yeah, and see this is cool. I mean, people are people are asking um People are asking, they're like, hey, can you check to make sure there's no hostiles? Like, can you guys check the hills? Like, make sure there's nobody around. I think if I remember correctly, uh, if I remember correctly, I don't think I take this, you know what? Yeah, I don't take it with me, I'm pretty sure. It's it's registered as like, mass limit exceeded. It's trying to, it's trying to take the ship. The flying in this seems like 12% jank. It is. Can I grab this? Let's see what happens. I've actually not tried this before. Mm. 
No, because it needs to be registered, I think. What does it say in the mission? Contract uh, accepted. Transport it to us at Bajini. Yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> I kind of want to. I kind of want to do it just. Even if it. Even if this doesn't work. I kind of want to do it just for the lulz. <laughs> if this doesn't work, then we'll find out. Usually, what happens is. Uh, usually, typically, you would just. Uh, do I still have it? Yeah. Usually, it would just say like, oh. Um, just take your ship, and your ship has a, reg a registered cargo grid, and the registered cargo grid knows, like, <laughs> it knows where things are, right? It's mad! It's on stream! I am doing good! I am actually finishing up. I'm almost done. We're just delivering this, uh, we're just delivering this final item for our mission tonight, and then we're gonna head, we're gonna head to bed. We're gonna head out. So, I've never actually just brought this... <laughs> Never actually just, I've never carried this around, but uh, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out how it works. Cause usually, you know, like those people who, those people who were who were back at the spot, you know how they had just like stacks and stacks and stacks of boxes. Um, you usually you would just land. Oh. Usually you would just land, and they would say, "Oh, uh, okay, we see that your inventory has, we see that your inventory has this and this and this." And you, it has seven of these, uh, has seven of these boxes. And then it'll pay you for it, but... Why are you carrying body bags? It's not a body bag, it's drugs, but... <laughs> I don't know what you think would be worse. <laughs> it could be either one. Alright. Uh, I think I gotta go to here. Alright. Hey, Jake Root. <laughs> What's up? How's it going? I'm almost finished for the night, but... Are you allowed to say that? Eh, sure. That's fine. I'm not a biggie. This is also an armistice zone, so they can't... They're not gonna kill me. Uh, I need to go here. Yeah, see, that's what everybody's walking around for. They're like, hmm. Alright, so usually... Can I do this? <laughs> Can I just drop it off here? Oh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. Uh, well, that might be a problem. Oops. <laughs> Hello, sir. Could you take this from me? Something I can help you with. Oh, <laughs> dang. Uh, make delivery. All right. Place it here. Okay. <laughs> here you go. Just smack this big old box on the counter. There you go. You gonna <laughs> drop this off or what? I did. Gosh. Screw it. God damn curious. <laughs> Alright. Apparently he didn't like that. Um. I. I don't think he accepted it. Need something? Uh. No, 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 I don't. <laughs> I. I think. So. All right, I need to go. <laughs> Guys, I need to go. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there. <laughs> I don't really care. I'm just gonna leave it and just... If somebody walks in <laughs> and then just sees it, they can have it. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. I gotta go to bed. But man, dude. I don't have the time to... I don't, I don't want to spend the time going all the way back to my ship just to load it into the ship. And then just to run all the way back and sell it. So it's fine. It's fine. 
I'm not in this for the money. I'm in this for the experience. So guess what? The next lucky contestant is just going to walk in. They're going to see this guy clueless with just a box of illegal content <laughs> just sitting there. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right, guys. This was this was fun. Thank you for thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining these uh, these random adventures. This is why I like this game, is that you never know, you never know what's gonna happen. Zombies, have you been, wait, 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 wait. Zombies, have you been lurking or did you just arrive? Please tell me, because I need to, I need to explain what just happened. <laughs> if you don't know what happened, I need to explain what happened. I washed my hands of this illegal contraband, exactly. Oh my gosh, Lord. Yes, this was great. Oh my gosh. So anyway, guys, not every uh, not every night of Star Citizen is as uh, is as crazy as and exciting as this was, but I'm uh, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that everything worked out. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad. I need an explanation. <laughs> okay, so zombies, real quick. What if I told you? What if I told you that? Uh, welcome to Space Game, first of all. And what if I told you that there was a a illegal drug lab that was pumping out illegal boxes of illegal drugs every 30 seconds and your objective is to take said drugs and deliver them to the security officials but that's it each box is worth 19 grand and the mission is 5000 so what do you do if you have a server of 50 people do those 50 people do they all cooperate does everybody get their drugs that they want or do 10 specific players just camp that that spawn point and shoot down any other starship that comes within a 10 kilometer radius and take all the drugs for themselves well i took my i took my rinky dink my rinky dink little beginner ship is it even on here i don't think it's on here i took my rinky dink little little beginner ship ran over there everybody was cool everybody was chill and i picked up a box and they were like all right cool that's fine you can have a box and then other people started shooting, some shots got fired, so I said, all right, I got my one box, I'm good. I'm just here for the experience. So then I finally got back here, but normally when you drop off the materials, you usually just leave it in your ship and then they look at your ship and they take it from it and that's it. But in this case, I was like, hmm, I kind of want to do things abnormal. Let's take the drugs with me. <laughs> so I took this cute one cubic foot box of of weed brownies as jesse likes to put it <laughs> i took my one cubic foot of drugs <laughs> and walked through the space station only to find out that wouldn't you know it they wouldn't take my drugs <laughs> they wouldn't take them so after having an argument with this dude i uh, i decided there was only one thing left to do leave the drugs with him <laughs> So, I don't feel like going back and taking the drugs to something else. I gotta go to bed. So what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna leave this dude with... <laughs> I wash my hands of this. <laughs> so whatever lucky contestant comes up these stairs, they'll just, uh... They'll find that there. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> totally okay. <laughs> oh, that's where we're at, man. That's where we're this at. Guys, this was, this was a lot of fun. This was great. We, we we shot some pirates. We delivered some boxes, both legal and illegal. We got our ship blown up. We got ourselves rescued, kind of. And, uh, man, next time I stream this, I think... Next time I stream this, I have enough... I have exactly enough money to, uh, to go mining. So, next time... Next time we go, uh, we'll go mining. I, I'll get to show you guys what that's like. And, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Yes, good night, Mads. <laughs> good night, guys. Uh, friends, I have to do a bed raid because I, I have to go take care of some things and, and, and head out. But... I'm sorry. You've exceeded the allotted time to depart. Yes, I know. We will have to return you. They're going to impound my ship. <laughs> they just took it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging. Um, if you're interested in this game... Shush! <laughs> Alright, if you're interested in this game, you can find it. Uh, you can find it at this website. And if you want to actually uh, participate and get yourself a ship, uh, you can find my referral code in the description, which would help me and help you. All right. Good night, friends. I need to head to bed. I need to head out. But thank you all for lurking and hanging and chatting and messing around. This was a blast. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.
Bye, friends. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Have a good uh, three-day weekend, actually. And I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye. <laughs> see you guys. Bye-bye.